Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton, and you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Damn. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> the best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Bitch, the cold leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinion expressed on this program are mine. But T.S. makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Tell me R. Kelly down there to the people telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, nigga. You have been a detriment to your community. You know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Light gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. boy, oh, I don't care whatever happens to Candace, but bless her heart. <laughs> the premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the fuck along, because I don't get along with you with, with a lot of you black motherfuckers, because you black motherfuckers don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round the way girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender their sexual preferences i what? just want to know where you found this wig at don't you do this to me we're both sitting up here looking like women's with shortcuts so don't you ever <laughs> cut this whole off we also have mo the engineer who gives the straight perspective news time what the h-e-l-l this is an lbgtq show that's curated and created by us for you I do understand as black people that we have a, a high rate of things that we need to worry about. We're not gonna disrespect I'll, I'll her, but we're gonna read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. Yeah. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all all right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. It's morning and we slip the night. People, let me tell you, I work hard every day. I get up out of bed, I put on my clothes, cause I got bills to pay. Oh my throat. Easy. Yes, Mo, you got to see this with a friend do. A friend help you when your throat do good. A friend help you when your throat ain't together. <laughs> you know, I can take over for you, man.
Now you really not, not, in, not in those situations. Now you really want to? No, no, not now in those my, situations. Now my question is, do you really want to take over? <laughs> no. Because I usually don't have no problems. <laughs> but just in case I do, do you really want to no, take no, over? No, no, no. You no. don't? I'll just stick to the singing, man. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I, I just needed to know, <laughs> did you really want to take over? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. When my throat give out. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Just a second. You can, you can call somebody else. Listen, baby, I had to put on some motherfucking, some incense in here, because it's going to get real messy today. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I'm trying to ward off all the dark and wicked spirits, honey, that that fag brings when that fag comes over. Girl! <laughs> <laughs> my God. <laughs> And that's, oh, it's just me. And that's why I gave my hand to God. <laughs> and I said, did anything come for, for me? me. <laughs> Girl, y'all see the incense burning over here? Because oh. one thing Craig going to have, Craig going to have Miss Nettie to run a lawnmower over my back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have who? You bitch going to have Miss Nettie have a lawnmower run over my back. You mean Miss Nettie Lawn Care Services? Listen, oh, we're not Lord. doing this, Craig. Girl, you said lawnmower. Yeah, because that's what <laughs> That's the shit that I've been getting ate up about. I've been getting eat. Let me tell y'all something. This is the same shit that I had to go through with that other bitch was over here. <laughs> but the difference between this bitch and the other bitch is that our paperwork is together. <laughs> now that is a fact. <laughs> so did anything come for, for me? me. <laughs> uh-huh. Well, girl, I don't even want to come over here and talk, girl, if the people are going to be all riled up. Girl, they don't know that this is a, a, a satirical show. Girl, I don't know. I don't even know if they don't understand what satirical is. <laughs> girl, it's a satire. That's right. I know what it means, girl. You ain't got to convince me. All right, girl, they trying to censor me and now, shit. Now, listen, I may not have my HSBC degree, bitch, <laughs> but you ain't got to you ain't got to school me on okay. every damn word you learn. God, yeah. leave. Now, as y'all can see, honey, I got my microphones together. How's the sound, everybody? Let me know. If you can hear the girls speaking loud and clear, press one in the comment section. We need a one. And don't forget to hit the share button. If you can hear the sound really good, please make sure y'all press once and if you can hear the sound. All right, I see the sound. is Mo, you did a thing when you told me to go over there and get a new mic. <laughs> Okay. But you didn't tell me to go over there and get him new mic. I did it anyway. <laughs> so let us know. Can we? Can I see the old mic? Can you? Can you bring the old mic over here? Let yeah, me yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I can bring it. Can, can Can they hear your mic though? Yeah. Can, can y'all hear me? Let we me know. We need to be able to hear the Africa. Put a, Put a two in the chat if y'all. We can need hear to it. be able to hear the words from Africa. Can we hear the mic? This the old. This the old mic. As y'all can see, this the old mic. You understand what I'm saying? This the old mic right here. Yeah, right now, this mo's this 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 the old mic. Now this this microphone still work like the oh, blood. Wait still a minute, works. somebody saying two. They putting a two, two down. Two, there. No, two is that they can hear him. They can hear me. Oh, so they can hear you. Yeah, yeah, so this yeah. the old microphone. I went and got a new microphone. As y'all can see, it got a rubber on it. You see, we pulled the rubber <laughs> off of this. Girl, who using rubbers? <laughs> Honey, it, see this. Okay, I'm, I'm glad. I'm just asking. I'm glad that we started with this. Okay, Mo, I need. I'm gonna need you to put a tweet up here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Send, Craig is gonna see this tweet live and in color. Because <laughs> I'm gonna have to address this tweet. I received a tweet. Yes, please make sure that you are tweeting me and you're tweeting Craig when you're responding to Fact Talk. Fact Talk is gonna actually has its have its own Twitter. <laughs> yes. Yep. We're gonna start its own Twitter. We have our own Instagram. On Fag Talk, so make sure you're following Fag Talk on Instagram and on Twitter. Hold on, let me see because okay. If you if and make sure you spell in Fag Talk correctly, but it's you can go. It's P H A G T A W L K Fag Talk. And it's the same for the website FagTalk.com, and you can link to the social media from there, and you can purchase a merch. Okay, here we go. Cause a uh, uh, Dragon King on Insta on um. On uh, Twitter is tearing you up. I'm going tearing to tearing me up. Yes. What do you do? No, I'm, I'm 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 definitely I'm about to send it to you because oh, okay because okay. I want to oh, let, well, let me see this. I want to <laughs> let you, no. I want to let y'all know that listen. I, I listen. I'm not above reproach. Now I'm a girl that gets out in the paint and I windmill about the things that I say and do. And I want y'all to know that I don't feel that I'm above being checked or being stepped to. Mm -hmm. It's just the way you tap me on my shoulder. 
Don't push me in my shoulder. Now you're not going now you're not going to pop me in my back and think <laughs> I'm going to turn around and hear what you got to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fight you. It, but if you tapping me on my shoulder and, and kindly saying to me, Houston, we have a problem, I'm going to investigate the problem. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh-huh. Hold on. So here we go. I'm going. I'm sending you the mo. This is the thing. So okay. Here we go. Okay, I got. We're it. sending this because I'm going to address you, Craig, on my show because this is where. Oh, Craig don't even know what it's about. No, he don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna address you, Craig, and we're gonna address you. We're gonna do this in the public, <laughs> so that the public knows that I hold even myself accountable for shit that I have said and shit that I'm. Because that's when you know you a real bitch. <laughs> just like if y'all come back and y'all tell me, just like the other day when y'all was reading me saying, "Well, girl, you did misgender Jess," and I said, "No, I did not misgender her. I you I did a, a wordplay on her name, but I never called her him, or I did say hilarious, but I didn't call her him." <laughs> Girl, you sound like you're weaseling. No, I'm not weaseling, Keisha. <laughs> no, I'm not weaseling. Here, I'm sending you two things. I'm not weaseling, Keisha, but what I'm letting it be known is that when I was checked, it was okay for me to be checked because I'm not perfect. None of us are perfect. We make mistakes, and when we make mistakes, we can spin around in a circle. We can do what, girl? We can spin around in a circle, girl, honey, like Linda Carter, girl, if we've been tapped ever so slightly. Oh, for that. To figure out, Craig, you don't know the password right now. Girl, no, girl. As feminine as, as, feminine as you look, <laughs> you you mean to tell me as feminine as you look that you haven't, you can't open my phone with your face. <laughs> <laughs> so that just goes to show you that I look nothing like a man. Okay. <laughs> no, can put this mic for the. Okay, so what what he had said? Uh, Mo about to load it. Y'all give it a second. Mo about to load it up. Well, He's while a, Mo is loading that up, uh, we, I, not, we haven't started fag talk yet. Clay. No, I know, I know. No, we haven't started that yet. But, but I just want to let you all know that this is a, is is a satirical show, so it's like in living color. So when we, it's like so Saturday Night so Live. When, excuse me. So when we write the synopsis for uh -huh, the show, uh huh, because we go into TV. We off. Mm -hmm. I got the. I got. Listen. <laughs> What girl? I told those girls that bitch I was going to get the Queen's Court, the Queen's Supreme Court TV, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> and what girl? And I did. <laughs> and what happened? Whether a bitch was sitting next to me or not, mm -hmm. and I did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hear you. If you don't believe me, uh huh. Just watch. That's right. Because girl, honey, I'm that type of determination girl. I, I, I hear you. And I did. And you did. They can say whatever they want to say. And they could talk about one season and this and the other and all that type of stuff, honey. You have no idea. Mm -hmm. If you when you Google our show, it is neither. It don't say that we're canceled or we're renewed yet. Correct. It's just in limbo right now. What is it, girl? Well, <laughs> <laughs> girl, girl, where is it? <laughs> well, they think it's in limbo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I know otherwise. Well, go ahead. What were you gonna say? Go ahead. I wait, Mo, have you gotten it in? Oh, good. No, no, no. Wait, you were about to say something. I was saying that this is a, a satirical show. It's a la Saturday Night Live yeah. in Living Color. So we're going to say things that are inappropriate because that's a part of the punchline. Yes. Now, if you don't have a sense of humor, log the fuck out. Yeah. So I'm just trying to let it be known, honey, before, you know, y'all get all out. Right. You got it? I didn't know you said the second. Well, either way it goes, you know, put both of them in there because... Uh, if you have tissue paper feelings, this isn't the show for you. But, Craig, we still also have to be mindful of things because we do have influence. Okay. And, and, this, is, and this is what I want to teach people that have influence. Are you airdropping me something else? Oh, you did it. Oh, girl, yes. It, it was the, I have it here. I want to remind people this, that have influence. When you have influence, you do have to be mindful of a lot of the things. And, and, and it's, and That's it's, true. And it's not because this is something that you signed up. Okay, now, this, now, we, now the spirits is right. <laughs> girl, girl, you want me to move it? Girl, yes. Well, girl, put it over there, girl. <laughs> put it close to those African deities over there. Don't do that. Because first of all, our deities are very strong. I know. <laughs> Hold on, what, 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 one second. Let, let me look you dead in your eyes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you can play the saw game if you want to with me. Okay. <laughs> you can play the saw game if you want to with me. I know. <laughs> I 
I know. <laughs> I don't, now I don't know what you're talking about. But you better not. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that's the route you want to take with me, girl? No, no, I've, no. I've already been rumored. <laughs> right. It's already been a, a rumor, honey, that I know, but I definitely know. <laughs> no comment. Right. <laughs> it was passed down to me from the ancestors, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my goodness mm. okay when we're all sitting there where you are so i just received this and I, from twitter open it up make my thing big or make the make my phone for <laughs> <laughs> gotta watch what i say right <laughs> you know let's go to the first is that the first no go to where i didn't respond go to the one oh, where i one? yes okay. here we go Craig, are you watch? Are you looking at this? Here, here's the computer over here. Till you get over here, wrong. I'm looking. Here it is. He says, "I love and support you dearly, and I love your strength for yourself and others. I understand you don't control others, i.e., Craig, and his derogatory comments about those who have HIV/AIDS, but it is problematic. Affiliating him, with him is becoming a stain on." Next slide, please. On you. It's just on state on you. Oh, on you. And so I went back and I said, what did he say? And then he said, maybe I'm the dumb one. And OK, I guess um, Craig is always talking about gay supporting each other when it comes to toxic interactions and not letting those who speak ill of us get a pass. But then mention in a very non-sensitive and flippant, flippant mention those with HIV and AIDS. Now, Craig, I have. Wait, open this. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Open this. <laughs> Before you say anything, I want, I want, I want the record to show. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to that episode because I'm thinking he's talking about this episode. You know, there was a time that it was, it was special. You didn't just fuck anybody raw. Now it's like people don't care. The gays definitely don't care. Like, the gays they never gave a fuck. Child, but they, they, the gays they never gave a fuck. But at least. When that epidemic came through and did a supermarket, what for us? It ain't funny. When, when, when that epidemic when, came through. When the epidemic did what? Came through, did a supermarket sweep and started gathering us and putting us in the checkout line. Now, I'm going to pause for, for, for a moment because I think I'm in good company right there. I'm not the, I'm not the only one that's speaking. Hold your, hold your comment, though. We're going to continue. Hold on. <laughs> Now I don't. I'm gonna pause one more time. Now I don't know if he saw the same thing I saw. Maybe we look very much alike. But right here, right here, right here, Carolyn, you're driving the bus. I'm just listening and laughing. Hold on. Now, once again, I'm just listening and laughing. I haven't said 15 words. Hold on. What happened? The girl's up. The eight. Put us in the checkout line and checked us out. Now, now, I asked the question. I said, what gathered us up? The eight. Girl, okay, okay, let's, let's continue listening. I get talking with, yeah, the eight. We begin to start to be like, hey. And y'all done lost your goddamn mind. We became more and more promiscuous once the prep started to come into play. And don't let a bitch tell you she's undetectable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
now, 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 this is my first statement. But, but, but here's what we have to understand. That is true. Now, listen, if the children that are undetectable tell you that they're undetectable, they're saying that because they want you to know that I'm safer, quote unquote, and you can, and, and you don't have to, I, because I'm gonna I'm say this, within the HIV community, there is a hierarchy. They've created a hierarchy. Those that are undetectable feel like they're more privileged, for lack of a better word, than those who are not undetectable. But who said that? How do you, how do you know I've that? seen it. I've seen it. I'm just talking from my own experience. So this is from your from your perspective. From my perspective. From your perspective, from your experience. From my experience. And then just seeing different conversations on Twitter, on uh 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 Jacked, when I used to be on Jack, there were conversations where it was like, oh, um I I'm undetectable though. Okay. You know, that they, they they're they're well at least they're disclosing this the status. Correct. And that's fine. Unlock this, please. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's fine. But my thing is, they definitely try to make a distinction. And I understand that there's a difference between undetectable. It, yes, come on, uh, Mr. R R E X X. It's a, um, they, they, they make the distinction. What did he say? Where did his comment go? Unspoken. Unspoken status quo. Th thank you. Come on, somebody. You're picking up what I'm putting down. But let's continue to listen to the audio. <laughs> So here I am being blamed. <laughs> here I am being blamed. No, I'm not. I'm not blaming you. Listen, girl, it's over. She undetectable, and you are proud today. Right. This is what you girls don't understand today. That is correct. You're undetectable today. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're gonna be undetectable tomorrow or next week. The level may change. Yeah. And, and that's true. If you miss the dosage, and you're not running blood checks before you're bucking. I mean, wait. <laughs> I mean, and that is true. Now, nothing in that statement that we said was not was was false. Correct. Because you know, undetectable status doesn't doesn't last, girl. Unless, I, unless you are, unless you are on your regimen, you correct. are continually on your regimen or whatever. Now, sat satirically, uh huh, we were. <laughs> poking and having fun but we were also educating in that correct in, in that same retrospect we were craig was <laughs> i did say that there was a, a time when the epidemic did because the epidemic did come through gather the girls up honey like a supermarket sweep put us in a basket and we're checking us out however due to the way that magic johnson uh-huh came out and was talking about his status or whatever which he became the face of this and then once he became the face of of that and the and the and the pharmaceutical companies understood how important it was for our community for the black community because we are we are yeah come on we are at we are a we are definitely high in numbers come on according to the cdc mm-hmm we are high in numbers and, and, and high in numbers in black women. And so therefore, because of all of this stuff, the way that the pharmaceutical companies started making changes and advancements into the way that AIDS and HIV research has happened, there- Shell, I'm coming for you after she's done. Go ahead. There are, there are medications in place that were like prep, that comes in pill form and mm -hmm. injectables. Injectable. That are ha having people where you either, if you have it, it's manageable. And if you don't have it, you'll never get it. Right. Oh, uh, a dra the dragon did, have, he did reply. This, this is what he had to say. Oh, just now? Yeah, right here. Oh, it's where? Oh. He said, I didn't say his statements were false. Craig just makes statements like this quite often with, and with a lot of vitriol. Oh, well, I'm going to need receipts for that because I don't know what you're talking about. Now, Craig, I do tap you on your shoulder a bit a, a few times and I'd be like, girl, don't do that. Don't do what? First of all, first, first of all, don't, don't be trying, don't, first of all, don't be trying to jump on here with him because. No, I'm not on his side, but I do tap you just the same way I tap you on your shoulder with your, with your, with, 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 with where you have your comments about white people. 
Well, listen, it's the truth. Here's the thing, and I'm going to say this, and then I'm coming for you, Shell. The, can we well, can we just run the fag talk music? You know what? You know I what? Need, oh, we just, let me get this over is here. Awful. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to reposition the camera because Craig is being, is being annihilated over here and, and taking me down with the blip. So, be, <laughs> <laughs> let's get ready for some fag talk. You met me as, as me. Yes. 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 This hair looks delicious on you. Yes. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Yes! Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey. You know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular hot ass gossip. Oh, honey. I was born a fag. And so are you. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. Say it again. I am rich. You're what? That's right, girl. P H A G. Popular, hot ass, gospel. Hey, that's right. I mean, sister. Yeah, yeah. Ha 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 ha. Yes. And that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Not the other one. But that counts. Hey girl, what is this? Plum Burgundy or what? This is 99J. <laughs> 99J. Yes. Thank you. You met me as, as me. Yes. Yes. This hair looks delicious on you. Yes! This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. This 99J. Hello? <laughs> Anything come for me? Anything come for me? Obviously, they were. De- you were definitely trying to get them to come for me. <laughs> oh, no, you were, you were stirring the people well, up. I didn't that. stir the people up. I only... T- I only- I only showed you what I was getting on Twitter. You, you, you didn't put that man. Let, let me not say man because he might be non-binary. Yes, just like I'm also because you like put I'm, you put them. No, just like comment. I'm also going to address. I'm going to address it how I've gotten dragged about some shit you said about Miss Netta. <laughs> let me just say this: sometimes the truth is so pure that it stings. Now, Shell, let me start with you, niece. <laughs> I've been working with Madison for what we met in 2017. Oh my God. Yeah. And so for you to say that I've been craving fame, that's hilarious to me because for one, when I first started working with her, I was always hiding off camera. But see, when 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 the universe or God calls you into your purpose, it doesn't matter how you run and hide, the universe is gonna move you to the center because that's where the universe wants you. So when we used to do the show, I would be whispering. I didn't want her to hear me. I, I mean, I, I didn't want you all to hear me. I would be, just be trying to pass a note to Madison. I'm like, here, here's this, here's the story. And she'd be like, Craig, what you saying? What you saying? So for you to say that I just want fame, yeah, you can keep that. Now, as far as, what's the guy's name? King Dragon or what was it? Uh, or the King person, Dragon, let, me yeah. say, let me say person, because I don't want to say guy. See, we live in such a politically co- correct world. You can't say anything. But see, I refuse to be muzzled. I refuse to be muzzled. But you have to be mindful too. And I do try to be mindful. It's just, okay, so there's a difference, difference in between being muzzled and being mindful. I try my best to be mindful. And, and the thing is, no matter how politically correct you are, whenever you say something, there's always going to be somebody that's going to be offended. And when you're talking about the LG, see, let me say this. When you talk about difficult conversations, it's important to have difficult conversations. I'm really clear about what my life's purpose is, what my life's work is. I believe God has called me to bridge communities, whether it's the gay men and trans women, black and white people, um, you know, on and on and on. But I speak a lot about race, but here's the truth. I believe that there are instances that, that there are white folks who don't want to have conversations, who are really interested in bridging the gap, 
but they don't even want to have conversations with black people because we're so, we're so uh, sensitive that when you have a difficult conversation, it's important to be mindful that you're going to say things that are going to hurt people's feelings out of ignorance, out of just trying to learn. I've said to you before, I've known trans people long before I met Madison. I wrote and produced a stage play. There was a trans woman in that play. I worked with two different trans women. I've learned more about trans identity through her because she's so open and, and like when you ask things, you have to be able to ask the questions that you really want to know. But you can't be so sensitive. And I think the reason that we've learned so much about tra the trans community is because people like her are so open and willing to entertain and answer questions. But if you have a trans person that doesn't want to answer questions and they feel like you're trying to, you know, say something to really uh, challenge their identity, and like that's the only way that we learn. And so when it comes to this, com this comment about the HIV AIDS, the first guy that I fell in love with, I write about this in my first book, he was HIV positive. But the truth is, we have to be able to talk about this thing and not be afraid to talk about it out of fear of offending people. And the truth is this, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm, here's the truth. There are conversations that those of us who are HIV negative have amongst ourselves that we don't have with people who are HIV positive because we know that sometimes it's going to be so sensitive and you're going to misunderstand it and oftentimes people who are living with the virus will say oh you just don't understand oh you're just ignorant especially when it comes down to whether or not you would date somebody that's HIV positive or not that is something that each person should be able to decide I don't want to date a smoker nobody's attacking me because I say I don't want to date a smoker well, I don't want to date a smoker because I don't want to taste no cigarette in my mouth. But you a suck dick, though. <laughs> I don't get it. But I don't want to smoke. I don't want to taste no smoke in my mouth. Now, for example, if somebody says, and I'm not saying this, so don't misinterpret my words. If somebody says, oh, no, I don't want to date somebody HIV positive. It never fails. Somebody from the HIV community will say, oh, well, why won't you? They, they take it as a personal attack. We all get to decide our truth and what we want to do. And you can't be so offended that all of a sudden you want to say, oh, you're just ignorant. You don't know enough about the virus or you need to educate yourself. Like, what about I've had the experience before and I don't want to do it. Okay. And, you that's, know? and that's your person. And, that, and that's a person's person. Well, don't say me because I don't want them to say, oh, he sat on there but and you, said. But you said that it would, would do you. I've dated three people that were positive. Okay. But I don't tell people whether or not they should date somebody positive or not. I've had book signings. I did a book signing at Morehouse, and this young man came up to me after the signing, told me he was involved with the guy who he had just found out was HIV positive. Mm -hmm. They weren't sexually active at this point, and he asked me my opinion. Should I date him or not? And I said, sir, you have to decide that for yourself. And don't let anybody force you to make that decision or choice. You, know, you have to decide that. But uh, conversely, I've had people that are HIV positive who said, Oh, I would never date somebody negative. Oh. So a person that's positive can say they would never date somebody negative, but a negative person can never say that. Like, come on now. But again, this is a satirical show. And so we're going to laugh and play and joke about things. And so, like, what happened with Family Guy when it, you've got AIDS, not well, HIV? Okay, now I was going to say, that's where we got that, 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 bit. that bit from was, where's my phone? Because we're going to play it oh. in the background. So it's like this is where we got that bit from, and and you and I sat on the sofa and bitch, we, we cackle. When I tell you we fell to the floor, yeah, I was like, oh my god, this is awful, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you, were, but you were dying laughing though. <laughs> okay, and I'm also gonna tell you more things. Like I laugh at tra trans jokes, and, it, and even when it comes down to this non-binary thing. Now, I do think, okay, now, Craig, I, here's where I want to tap you on your shoulder just a tad after, we, after we do the AIDS song. Uh, uh, after we do what? The AIDS song. Uh -huh. Here presents Wallet. Andy Moore. <laughs> Create your gallery with art deals so good they feel... I got a knack for delivering bad news. I don't know how to tell you this, Mr. Devaney, so I'll let these guys do it. You have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. I hate to tell you, boy, that you have AIDS. You got the AIDS. You may have caught it when you stuck that film. Here. Or maybe all that unprotected sex that you hear. It isn't clear, but what we're certain of is you have AIDS. Yes, you have AIDS. Not HIV, but full blown AIDS. Yes, we were like, what Be the sure fuck? That you see that this 
This is not HIV. We were like. I'm sorry, I wish it was something less serious. But it's AIDS. But it's AIDS. You've yeah. got the AIDS at the end, is what he said. So after we watched road. it, after because I had never seen this before. And so after we watched this, I sent this to Craig because I didn't know, like, I was over there like. I promise you that I was like, well, what the fuck was, what, what, wait a minute, hold on. And I did cackle. I did too. But I was like, wait. And so that became our little running thing that was like, grow the age. And we would just say it amongst ourselves. Amongst ourselves, you know? And so I was just like, what the fuck? And they were harmonizing and for blood. I was like, wait. And so that became our little, and here, here we go again. And okay. Again, even in our community, when we were talking about policing words the other day about how people didn't like fish and they don't mm -hmm. like, you know, certain things. Like, mm -hmm. like we call all men trade, whether they're gay, bi, mm -hmm. whatever. Or mm -hmm. straight. We say trade, like like whatever. In our community, we have like these, you know, and I'm not saying that everything in our community is right because it is not. It's not. But that was our that is our language. And so we were having a bitch. I didn't it took me a moment before I even started saying it out loud. Did it? Did, did yeah. Not, not yeah. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It took me a moment before I was like, the the AIDS. But it was a reference to that. Because mm -hmm. when I first saw it, I sent this to him and I was like, girl, is what the fuck was that? Now, we, now I'm not, I, if I told you that I didn't fall out laughing, bitch, I wouldn't be telling you a lie. Right. Because I was just, I was laughing at the space, not about the A's, but at the, at, 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 but at how they were so crass. Right. And just like. Right. Up front. And I was right. like, that shit is crazy. Right. But my thing is this. When it comes to the non-binary everything, somebody just said, I, I, it's not that I don't, first of all, I think a lot of times you no, guys. No, I need to tap you a little bit, Craig, because, <laughs> no, I know, I know well, that you're going to go for it. You don't know what I'm about to say. No, though. I don't know yet, but okay, I want to say ahead. that I need to say this. Like when you were talking about the non-binary thing, and I was very much so like trying to educate you in the space of, girl, I've had my own experience. When I worked on the set of bros, I told you this was my experience. Uh -huh. I worked on the set of bros, and bros on Universal Pictures hired everybody. They hired trans, they hired gay yeah. Black, whatever. They hired everybody. And we hired everybody from, uh, 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 what's the word I want to use? From the community? From the community, but what's the other word? In the subculture? The subculture. Yeah. They hired everybody, but, you know, minority. From My, the minority. Okay. They hired all the minority things, like everything from staff to to every, everywhere. Like when we yeah. walked around. Craft services. They, everything. They yeah. wanted us, when we walked around on set, they wanted us to make sure that we were comfortable when we came to work. Like everybody saw everybody. Right. Okay. So one of the people that was the PA there, and I, I've, I'm, I even, I've been on numerous interviews where I've said, well, I'm still learning about the non-binary thing. Yes. I'm, learn, I'm, I'm learning that this stuff. I've been on many interviews, whatever. But I learned from an experience, and that was my experience at Bros when we sat there, and I was, well, I'm from the South. So I use girl and she, Mm -hmm. Listen, we're fags. We call everybody she. Even, Even the men. Me, we be, when, we, when we have our conversation and most not, we be like, girl, she was over there. Girl. Right, right, right. We do that because that's what we do. It's everything is she. It's everything in our community is fucking goddamn fucking she. You've seen it, Mo. Yeah. I've even had conversations with you about some men that I was dealing with. I was like, girl, honey, she gives. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's, so, it's, not, it's not a place of me making no. you a woman. It's just language. Mm -hmm. Okay. Semantics. Okay. Help. Thank you. <laughs> so I said in in I, I was going to my trailer and this going to loop you back into this non-binary thing. Okay. Because I'm ready to talk. I was going to the trailer and in me going to the trailer, whatever. When I spoke to the person, the person said to me, whatever, because because visually. Mm -hmm. Okay. I gotta say this because. I want y'all watching this to learn fucking something. Visually, I saw she. Yes. Visually. Visually, their presentation, I saw she. That's what I saw. Right. Okay? 
And so when I was having a conversation with, with, the, with another PA, I said, well, she told me that, you know, that, that we need to be back on set, that our lunch was this minute. And so they took the, they, after everybody cleared out and we went to lunch, they came into my trailer and they tapped me on my shoulder mm -hmm. and they said to me, Madison, I'd just like to let you know that my pronouns are they and them because I'm non-binary. And I said, oh. I, I grabbed my chest. I said, oh, okay. Because we had just, before I got hired at Universal Pictures, before I got, what, is something wrong? Oh, before I got hired at Universal Pictures, we had to go through training. We had to go through training. We had to be, we had to go through a week of training for so that we wouldn't offend anybody. You know, we had to go through for no so there's no sexual harassment. We had to go through a week of training for that shit. Cuz that was universal pictures of which I still to this day get a check from for those of you who said it fly. <laughs> <laughs> I still I'm gathering up my coinage from that movie, bitch, that came out year before last. Mm -hmm. I'm still gathering that. Hence why, bitch, my floors in my home are done. <laughs> my walls are done. Thanks. But that's another story because I'm about to get thrown. I'm about to breathe a bitch. <laughs> but I'm just waiting for my turn. You, you about to get it. You just stay, stay here. <laughs> so I went into my trailer and I had a conversation with myself in my trailer, in my mirror, in my trailer. And I said, all right, Madison, now you don't want to lose your motherfucking job for number one. And for number two, not only you don't want to lose your job, you don't want to disrespect nobody, not you being a pillar in your own community. Mm -hmm. So here's what you need to do. Practice with yourself. How are you going to use they and them in a sentence when you were referring to this person? So I said, here we go. All right, Madison, they told you that their pronouns are they and them. And in order for you, Madison, to keep your job and not be fired and sent home, bitch, with no, no pay, you need to respect them for who they are. And therefore, you can keep that check coming to your name. You see how I did that right there? By the time they came back to my trailer, they have been they and them ever since. And I understood how to do that. Because one, I wanted to respect them. And two, I was not going to lose a dime. <clears throat> now, Craig, I have tapped you on your shoulder. And you have said many, many times that I just don't get it. It's plural. As smart as you are, there are ways that you can adapt. Hold on. Go ahead. There are ways, Go Craig, for my turn. <laughs> there are ways that you can adapt to adhere to respect people. And I don't want anybody at home. And here's my thing, because I, I got to get this out and I'm done. Go ahead. Because I'm done with it, too. Because after I say what I say, don't talk to me nothing else about non-binary. I'm talking to y'all out there. Because my pronouns are she and her. I didn't tell any of you motherfucking niggas in your home in your tell on your couches or whatever to believe that I am a female. I didn't tell any of you motherfuckers that. I ain't tell none of you motherfuckers to 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 believe that bitch I'm a woman. I didn't tell none of y'all to believe that. What I say when I say that that my pronouns are she, her, hers, herself is that when you and I are engaging in any type of contact with each other or we're conversing or we're occupying spaces with each other that this is the respect that I want you to give. I didn't want you to I don't want you to change any belief that you got in your mind. I just want you to respect <clears throat> me if you cannot respect me you don't have to use she and her you don't have to use she her hers herself but what you're not going to have is access to me we're not going to occupy the same space we're not going to get any conversation with each other because we're not going to you can't respect me and that's just it is all it right my turn? yes okay so let me just say this and i'll reiterate this when we had that conversation the other week about non-binary and them and they First and foremost, I believe that non-binary people exist. I'm not questioning that, that, that it's a thing, right? I believe bisexuality exists. What I'm saying is, from, to make it easier for me, 
I'm just going to call you by your name. I'm not using them or they. And if you can't accept me calling you Samantha, if that's your name, or Mark, if that's your name, then I just won't speak to you at all. Now, I believe that your identity exists. What I'm saying is I'm not doing the them and they, th th them or they thing. But it's not difficult to do, Craig. It is. It's complicated. It's not. It is. And, and for me, it's easier to just say your name. And that's where I am with it. And what I am is not a follower. And so just because the community thinks that I should say them and they, that's your business. There are a lot of things that I think many of you all should be doing that you're not doing. And what I want to say most importantly is we're not a monolith. We're all black people, but we have different experiences, so we're not going to agree on everything. Just because I fall up under that umbrella doesn't mean that I have to agree with everything that goes on underneath the umbrella. Case in point, there are things that we talk about with the trans experience that you don't necessarily agree with. I'm not going to go into that because I don't know if you want to talk about that. I mean, that. you can. Let's do well, it. Well, like, you don't think that trans women should be in sports with biological women, and I agree. And that is not transphobic. We just don't agree. And that's okay. What happens is, within the queer community, some of you, not all of you, some of you think that you're going to just make us <laughs> fall in line with everything that you believe and think. And that's not going to happen. Not with me. Now, for the person who put that comment up here who said, because I'm not HIV positive, that I shouldn't speak on it, then we shouldn't be talking about anything here on Fag Talk. Because the truth is, if, not, if, if we can't talk about the AIDS or anything else, then we shouldn't say fag either because there's some, or dyke, because there's somebody here who's offended by that. So at some point, we're now muzzled again. So we can't talk about it. We, so, so then we, got, we can't talk about nothing. We should just go ahead and close this down and take our motherfucking asses home and we'll see y'all later. Because, <laughs> I mean, if we're gonna, if we're gonna do shit, all this shifting, Every time somebody's feeling sensitive about something, then we ain't talking about a damn thing. I mean, that is that is correct, but you know, we in the in the in the space that we use fag, we have we have phonetically changed. Correct, it. but but it, it's still a homonym. It is a We're homonym. We're still saying fag. We are. However, we've, we've it's it's the same way that we've done with the word nigger. Correct. So we, black people who are sitting here trying to get us together about HIV or AIDS or dyke or non-binary them and they then y'all need to stop saying nigga. There's some stuff in your rep in your verbal, your vocal repertoire, repertoire mm -hmm. that there's some people that don't agree with what you say. So I was going to ask a question. So do you guys feel that you guys are... Or, I'm sorry. I say you, you I'm all. sorry. <laughs> he said you guys. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean like you got... That's not what I... Well, well, they, what they, I there's another example. There's you know another example. I'm like, sorry. I use that, so if somebody says it's you, like guys, you guys... You, it's like how you... It's like how you... You say, say she? Yeah. Well, you can say she. I don't say she. You can say you girls. I don't say you girls, though. Well, why not? Well, no, she can't say you girls because I'm not a girl. <laughs> oh, you're a girl. Now, 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 now see. No, 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 this it's, is fact talk. Daddy, if that's the case, that means you should be called Well, listen, you know you when... You can't call me she then. Well, you know when things go down, honey. I say, bitch, Miss Tim. Miss <laughs> Timothy. <laughs> Mr. Madison. Right. It's not... Bitch, Miss Ma Bitch, Miss Tim. Bitch, that's... I'm on... Because you're not offending me. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. But see, my thing is, if I'm... if Like, with my relationship with you... Now, I don't use the word tranny. I just don't. Just like I don't call women bitch. I just don't. Now, I might call a fag a bitch, you know, <laughs> but I don't call women a bitch. And I don't call trans women trannies. I don't use those words. But my point is, we have a different relationship. So there are times that I'm talking to you about something, like if I might say transmission fluid. Yes, because I gave you that. Right. <laughs> and I got that from her. And I'd like to tell you why I gave you that. But, but, but what happened? But, what ha but wait. No, but, but, but wait. But wait. No, but what happens if the But wait. Because context matters. Okay. But what happens if the trans community get offended because I say transmission fluid to you? So what, I can't talk? But here's the thing, the context matter, because I remember I was saying, girl, you better come over here and get you some of this transmission fluid all over that. Because I, I was being sexually suggestive to you in a joking manner. I was like, girl, I'll give you some of this transmission fluid, honey. You know, and I call the girls transmissions, transvaginal meshes. Right. So for all of the gay boys that happen to be HIV positive, you remember that there's some women don't want you calling them bitch. So if you want to try to check me about us joking about the AIDS, 
then you remember that. So, like, this shit goes both ways. Because I was going to say that, you know, I consider, especially when you guys are together, I consider you guys doing a comedic act. So yeah. It's like it's like you trying to it's like you trying to confine a comedian to certain things that they can talk about. Right. Okay, well, so Maverick two, seven two. Let's talk about fish. Uh, I removed fish, I, and here's the thing: I was never. You can go to countless videos of me. It was Doniva that's been saying that, and I'm not throwing Doniva under the bus because mm -hmm. you go on Doniva page on any day, and Doniva is saying fish, 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 fish. Mm -hmm. I've never been one that was saying fish. I call it mother bitch hole, motherfucking mm -hmm. puss ass hole. I've always been saying that. Cause I'm from Florida, and that's the way I speak. It's fuck that bitch, bitch asshole, puss ass, motherfucking bitch. It's, it's I've never been fish. We got I got caught up in a fish debacle when me and, <laughs> girl when me and Chi Chi was sitting in the car, and Chi Chi, who also is a fag from our community, uh -huh. Chi Chi was saying we were we were having a conversation about a woman who had got murdered. Because she was messy, mm -hmm. and she went in there, and she caught those men fucking, and she decided to go on Instagram or I remember whatever. That. Remember, remember that? Remember and me that. and Chi Chi were it was in the car, and I have, and they were dragging me since. Uh huh. Chi Chi was in the car, and Chi Chi said, "Girl, you talking about messy fish?" And I was like, "Yeah, girl, you know the because this is us talking." Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, girl, you know the fish in Min what was it, Mi Milwaukee, Minnesota? I it think was, it was Milwaukee. It was somewhere. I said, like, yeah, girl, that fish. Bitch, I would never have been saying online like that if I wasn't talking amongst my girl. Right. Right. I've never, and you can go, and y'all can go, and I've been on the internet for damn near for 15, over 15 years. Yeah. You can go, you can go count the videos, bitch, where I have ever been saying fish, ever. And I never use that word. Never. You can go count the videos where I've been saying fish. And anytime a, a, a subject about me comes up anywhere, anywhere, that's the like, well, 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 he disrespects women. He calls them fish. I'm like, girl, wait a minute. Who are you watching? CCM, I don't know what you're listening to, but I just said to you that I respect and I understand that non-binary people exist. I'm just not doing the them and they. I'm going to call you by your oh. name. If you can't receive that and understand that, then, then too bad. You can contort and twist what I've said, all you wish, but I've said what I said. But Craig, again, it is not difficult to use this. It's not, but I'm rather just call you by your name. I'm not, you, you're not gonna strong arm me. I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's easier for me to just say your name. If you don't wanna be called by your name, then I won't say nothing to you at all. It's just that simple. It really is. I, I, I believe that non-binary people exist, but I'm not getting into the them and they. I'm not. I'm going to call you by your name. And if that's not enough for you, then fuck you. That don't do that, Craig. That alcohol in your oh, it, don't, it, it ain't enough in there. <laughs> if, you don't, if you think that means that I don't respect people. Huh? Sure. Yes. What is that right there? Oh, girl, this stuff you don't eat. That's cabbage? <laughs> no, that's chicken. Uh, I want some of them potato uh, wedges, too. You'll get it, bro. Um, yeah, like you're not that gonna program quick, I to, me. I have to be honest and tell you that I don't, I don't like the fact that you, that I don't, me personally. Because I just would rather call you your name. You, you would think that I'm sitting here saying no. I don't think bi bisexual exists. I don't think non-binary exists. No, I'm just saying I'm not, I'm not trying to do all of that. I'm just gonna call I you by your name. I just personally think, Craig, that it's not difficult for you. It's, it's very easy. Okay, well, it's easier for me to just say your name. What's the problem with it? I just told you. If you told me you were non-binary, I would just start calling you Madison. I'm but, not going to say she, uh, I'm going to say, oh, Madison. But said, what about when you're having conversations about me? Or I'm going to say Madison. If that's the case, then we shouldn't say fag. Oh, we saying fag over here. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm going to call you <laughs> your name. We haven't even gotten into the show. No. Uh -huh. I'm glad we're doing this great because there's going to be a lot of things that we say on the show that people are probably going to get offended by. Right. And that's what I'm saying. If we're going to start doing all of that, then we shouldn't do it. How about this? You met me as, as me. Yes. Yes. This hair looks delicious on you. Yes. This is 99J. This is 99J.
99J. This is 99J. This is 99J. This is 99J. Yeah! Do you have what it takes to be a fag? Oh, honey. You know you do. We all do. I'm most definitely a popular hot ass gossiper. Oh, honey. I was born a fag. And so are you. I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your I'm rich. I'm sorry. I'm rich. And so I beg your pardon. I'm rich. Say it again. I am rich. You're what? That's right, girl. P H A G. Popular. Hot ass. Gospel. Hey, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sister. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know what I noticed too? Oh God, I thought we were done. <laughs> we are. We're gonna go ahead and slide on to something else. Very few people are independent thinkers. I'm an independent thinker. Like I'm not gonna just be forced to think something just because a lot of you are bunched in this group thought. And it's like, you'll see stuff, I'll read stuff on social media, and people won't always have their own thoughts about a situation. They'll just kind of pan through the comments and see what everybody else is saying. And then they jump on that bandwagon because it seems like it's the popular thing to say. So, Craig, what about those people when I say if she, her, she, her, hers, and hers, her, herself is pronouns for me? That's fine. That's fine. So, am I right when I say I'm not trying to change them for their, their thought process? I just want them, in order for us to have a respectable or respectful conversation with each other. Correct. And for us to occupy spaces with each other. Correct. For us to share the same room and the same space, the work environment, wherever we are with each other. Right. Do you understand what I'm I saying? I understand that. So, if I, if I was in that situation that you were in when you did Bros, that movie... And if I had said she, because you said it, the person looked like the presenting, the presenting, presenting looked like female, uh -huh. and you said she, and she came and tapped, or the person came and tapped you on your shoulder, I would have just said, "Oh, I'm sorry," and then I said, "Oh, what's your name?" I would have in that instance, I said, "What's your name?" And from that point on, I would have called the person their name. That's it. If that's disrespect, then I don't know what to tell y'all. Well, since we're in the range of disrespect. And we're already in fag talk. Let's talk about transphobia. Ooh. And how all women are affected by transphobia. Let's put it up here on the screen. I've said this time and time again. Uh, uh, Mo, what's going on? We, we passed that, Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I was trying to delete that. My fault. <laughs> passed that now. <laughs> my fault, my fault. Let me let you get it together, Mo, first. Cause you know I had to delete. You yeah, I know. I just want you to get together. <laughs> no, we're good now. We're good. We good. No, we're good. We you good. sure? Before I get deep into the topic, we are good. We are definitely okay. good. Now I've said this time and time again that transphobia affects all women, not some, not just because you. This all women. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. We're not going to run the clip, but we're definitely going to show, screenshot. show screenshots. So this woman is here. From my understanding, she's a biological woman. And she's on this. What is his name, Mo? You into that stuff. I'm not into it, but I know who he is. I'm really you're into that stuff. <laughs> his What's name his is name? The, the, the person that is, uh, that is featured. I mean, the person that owns it is Kai Sinat. But okay. the person that... Uh, he has guest star is uh, Drewski. His name is Drewski. What is they, are they all comedians or something? I, I think they're just uh, media influencers or whatever you call them. Okay. And so basically, what happened was Kai Sinat brought Drewski on and the woman on to basically make them like a match. A match. Can yeah. we see more like a match can we see more of the steals? You only showed one. Well, there was only two. Yeah, well, well, the, well, the other one is what you're talking about. And so when he, they, up, as you can see in the first photo. Well, we can't see nothing. Okay. In the first photo, photo he's blindfolded. Mm -hmm. 
uh, after a while, they take off the blindfold, and then this is what happens. He runs off. And uh, the main reason he runs off is not because of her foot being in the air. It's because he they were insinuated or thinking that she was trans. Not that she was trans. They were insinuating that she was a man. Yes. Mm-hmm. And I have to do some real some real deep distinctions in between that because, again, this is why when, when y'all be putting, well, you are trans, y'all men. Sweetheart, we were born oh, male. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> we were born male. But those in the room were men. Had she even been, had she been a trans for real, she would have been trans. Not, you know, or, or born male. But she wasn't. Hold on, Kendall. Now I'm finna eat my food. Now this is this kind of show you get. <laughs> now <laughs> all that control. Mm-hmm. Well, girl, they don't like that. So I think you should put your fork down. Hold on. <laughs> mm. My fault. My fault. I'm sorry, y'all. I'll get closer to the bike. I'll get closer mm-hmm. to the bike. Hold on. Let me get a little bit more of this while they go to windmilling down there. You gonna join your friends? Very much so. Anything come for me? Anything come for me. <laughs> so, as a woman, and this is the same thing, I hate to take this shit back to Jess. There are a lot of women that may not be able to handle that type of stuff. And then they and then some of them, not all. So I know y'all hear some of them, <laughs> not all may build up a thing. There were comments after I made that post um, that uh, transphobia affects all women. Do we have them all? Yes. There's a few that are just, I was just like, wow. And these come from women that follow me. I'm like, why do you follow me? Like, what's what's going on here? Yeah, let's go. First word. Wait, how is this transphobia where he said she looks manly? Maybe his preference of women are those without manly features. I don't think he hate or dislike trans people in general. He just don't want to date one. I'm so confused. Y'all help me out. Greg, can you help her with this? No, put that back. Oh, okay. Sorry. Are you reading this right here? Read your first Can you help her with that? <clears throat> the transphobia comes from the misgendering. Right. That's where that's where nobody don't want to see it. It comes from the misgendering. That's where it comes from. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. What's wrong? I'm well, you, I don't know what you. Okay, there. Oh, but what makes her look manly? I don't get. No, they were trying to insinuate this because they was talking about her hands, her feet, and then somebody wrote over there the thing, the jawline, yeah, her jawline. Her jawline. I was like, what the fuck? Well, you know, Serena Williams used to get comments like that. Like she, yeah. she masculine. Okay, come on, let's go. Here. Then uh, next one. This is not our fight. We are women. We don't identify as women. No, sorry. This is not our fight. We are women. We don't identify as women who are born women. How does that affect us? The day I, <coughs> the day I get mistaken for a nigga, a nigga I, I didn't say nigga. I said nigga. A nigga. A nigga. I'm cutting my uterus out. Uh, next we have, according to the comments, y'all not, y'all not wanting to stay. Wait. I don't, it was cut off. I'm so sorry. We're wanting to, to stay, stay men. men, which will forever be a causing some, which will ever be. Hold on. It's Greg, read that. Yeah, because <laughs> a lot of it is cut out. I'm so sorry. No, no. A lot of it is cut out. Greg, can you read that? According to the comments, y'all not wanting to stay, stay men, men, which y'all will forever be, is causing some real women to be mistaken for trans, trans. because it's so many of y'all confused Jesus souls. souls. So now this is our fault. Oh, sorry. Now, I want you to go to the other because I want to. I definitely want to come back to that comment. Here Tra- we go. Trans ideology forces women to become, I mean, into becoming a subset subset for our own protection. L- let me start over. Category. Hold on. No, let, hold okay, on. yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. We know you got a. We know you got a dialect from Africa. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Craig. Trans ideology forces women into becoming a subset of their own protected category. It sounds frighteningly oppressive. It's not up to women to solve men's problems with the patriarchy. Even if those men are trans women, if you choose to fight for trans women, 
you are fighting against women. And then next we have. Maddie, you're missing the main root point or part. It ne had never affected born women until men wanted to be women. I think that's what she's trying to say. Mm -hmm. It's literally a man's world, and you're proving that even more when you speak on women, even though you think you're an activist for us. And lastly, do you know all women? That's what somebody just said to me, basically, about the HRV thing. Mm -hmm. Hush, your, but she meant Y-O-U, apostrophe R-E. She, you know, she fucked that up. <laughs> well, her, her logic definitely fucked mm -hmm. up in the beginning, but go ahead. Right. You're being ridiculous. So it affects Beyonce, too, from your blanket statement against all women. And then somebody, <laughs> oh, she went back and corrected it. The your. So how did, I, how did this be, how did my statement become anti-woman? Well, I, I Can y'all help me in the comment section here? How did my statement, go back to my original statement after, again, me, me again, because I just was being fried last week for, <laughs> for defending a big woman from a man that a woman sat next to who should have been as a woman telling a man, hold up. Come well, on, y'all. We, we got to see. We got to see what's going on here. Well, I think according go to back to her, my original thing. I think according to her is because they, they don't consider you as a woman. So they're basically saying you're fighting a fight that's not benefiting them, I guess, which sounds baffling to but me. But according to a woman, and if I'm a man, if I'm a man, let's just do this just hypothetically. Because, uh -huh. yes, I was born male. But if I'm a man, and according to a woman that was, that was putting out a cat call, a siren call to men to protect women, if I'm standing in the gap, why are you as a woman assisting in dragging a woman when there is the man that you call forth to protect or to stand up for you, arise. It just didn't arrive in the form in which you. It looked like you, and therefore, because it looked like you, girl, you got some rights. Oh, there. bitch, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> girl, that little Uncle Ben's down there. <laughs> and because it looked like you, you have an issue. So I be I, I really sit in my corner sometimes, and I read this stuff, and I just be in a confused state of well what's going on here mm -hmm. it's like black people saying save us from such and such such and such come along in a different form and it's and it's and you're like nah don't and save us no nah, don't say no nah, we, we don't, don't want, want you, you to save us we were hoping for somebody else we don't want to <laughs> fuck with you nah i don't like you <laughs> and it's just like <laughs> <laughs> and that just that 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 makes it seem like you don't want to be saved. It's, it doesn't seem like you want to be saved. Again, because... it takes us back to all of my to, to all of my statements when I said if you don't want equality for everybody, you want privilege. privilege that's yep. just it, and that's just all. Mm -hmm. Because when if somebody you, is standing up for you, when you sit down and you dissect it and you it's look at this type of stuff, and you like, well. Well, wait a minute now. Hold on. H hold the line. So the woman that just six months ago, or almost a year ago, screamed, where are all the men? Who who's going to protect us? Huh? Wait a minute, let me get it right. Where are all the men? <laughs> who's going to protect us? And then I, as a, as a trans person who is prone to discrimination, disparities, who is prone to that, who, who sees something wrong and doesn't care about the gender, you know what I'm saying, or the sex, saying, hey, hey, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Because you're so rooted in your disdain. This, this is why we're going to get this. Unfortunately, this is what is going to lead Trump back in office. This is just going to lead so many people voting for laws 
and sanctions against others that's going to <laughs> dial us back and fall back on them. This is why. And it's so fucking crazy because my post was like, that girl, we sitting here, y'all doing all this carrying on. As a woman, I'm sure as a woman, she said that she possibly was embarrassed because now these people with all of this influence have has just made her, the made her the out to be a man right. or excuse me, a trans person. But they're using the term man. They've just did this to this woman. And she has to go back out in the world and receive that. It's the same fucking way when people be saying, Master, why you you need to share? Bitch, when them hoes get on those large platforms, on those breakfast clubs, and on, and on those D.L. Hughley shows that reach millions of people, you fucking right I'm going to respond. You goddamn right I'm going to respond. Bitch, you're not going to sit up here and put shit out about me and I got to eat this every day. I got to go out in the world with this. You goddamn right. Tell me, Mary, we can hear the playback. Okay. <laughs> I, I think she can hear that too. <laughs> I, I'm sure. <laughs> One moment, please. <clears throat> But you know what happens though? It's like we're having these conversations, this trans thing, like every time we do fag talk. Mm -hmm. And at some point it gets exhausting. Having to say the same thing over and over. And at some point, <laughs> I think we just have to accept that some people are just gonna be willfully ignorant. And like when we talk about, when I talk about the race thing and talk about, because again, I'm very clear, just like there are people who misunderstand when I talk about race. I have nothing against white folks. I'm just for black and brown folk. Um, and I just feel like somebody has to champion for us because otherwise, who will? Um, but it, it, it becomes like, I don't know any other word other than, than exhausting. It becomes so exhausting, like saying the same thing over and over and over. And at some point, it starts to feel like you, you're trying to proselytize people. And <laughs> Please explain. I don't know what that means. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> Wait, didn't you get your college degree in Africa? <laughs> no, it's like proselytize me. Man. <laughs> it's like trying to convince people, trying to change the way somebody thinks and have them adopt what you think and believe. Mm. Like this whole uh, them and they. Y'all not gonna proselytize me. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna call you by your name. <laughs> Period. Greg, I think that that's, I just, just, those are my thoughts. <laughs> I mean, I hear you, you know. What else are we talking about? <laughs> I want to move from this space. We, we can't, unfortunately. <laughs> so, Craig, my thing is, what about all the women? I highlighted those women, but there were so many women, uh -huh. which I'm going to go back and do a repost. There were so many women that were sharing their experience in transphobia. Mm -hmm. So many women. There was a woman that made a whole video. She says, ma'am, sir, everyone, I am a biological woman that experiences transphobia across the board. Mm -hmm. She says, this is her data, this is her daily thing that, that no matter what it is, this, that some person is saying that she's a man, mm -hmm. right? That's her experience. That's her experience. And she is a woman. That's Michelle Obama's experience. Right. She's a woman. That's Serena Williams' experience. She's a woman. Mm -hmm. That's um, Sierra's experience. So what about all the women who are having these experiences 
that, that, that these other women like that ain't got nothing to do with women. What are you? T- you just trying to make this about no girl. Well, I told you I experienced one this, this actually this week while working. Tell us, Mo. Well, I was working with um, I was working with somebody, <coughs> and as we were we were moving things, you know, moving things. They were men. Yeah. We were as we were moving things. One of them, uh, we saw we saw a woman get out of her car and go inside of a building, and then come back. And then next, thing, I was work while I was working. I just heard him say, "I think she's trans." I was like, "No, they didn't say that." No, no, no. Was no okay. He was like, "No, he was like, he was like, he was like, I think, I think she, that's a trans woman." I was like, and I, me, what I said was, "I was like, bro, chill." Like, was it was she a trans woman? No, I don't. Well, I don't believe she was. I didn't think she. I don't think she was trans because I think they're saying he, they can't hear you, Mo. Oh, you can't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me move this up a little bit. Watch what you move. <laughs> uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Ba, ba, ba. Girl, you, you feeding your titty. This day hungry. <laughs> Hello, can you guys hear me now? Can you guys hear me? Is everything good? Let me know if you guys can hear me. Just put a one in the Come chat on, if you I guys can you hear me. I need you to put Don Lamont up there. Come on. Where? Oh, here? Okay, they said they can hear me. So basically, what happened was they said, "Hey, I think she's trans." I was like, "Bro, what makes you think that?" He's like, "Because of how she looks." I was like, "What's like? How does she look?" He was like, "Oh, well, she's one. She she was tall. She can was he, like." Can he help me? I, she, I'd like for them to, when you finish. Mo, I'd like. I'd really like to understand what's the difference in between, because either way, don't nobody know what the fuck going on. Right. Mm-hmm. Either way, they thinking both of them they f- b- fucking trainees, bitch. Whether they got a pussy or whether they were w- born with a pussy or got a fucking dick and nuts, put that shit back up there, mo. <laughs> so what's the? Di- I'm trying to figure out what are you trying to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What what were you trying to minimize? What are you What are you saying? He'll put it back up there, cause it's like, what are you saying? What you talking about? Let's see. Does he? Here it is. Is that what are you saying? Oh, saying women look like men is totally different from actually being. What, what is the di- what is what is what is the fucking difference? I'm trying to get what what is the difference. What what is the difference? Uh, somebody said, should I unblock him so he can respond? No, no. Oh, somebody already blocked him. But there's other people, there's some people in, in, in agreeance. Like, what, what is the difference? So help me. If I'm not understand, I need to know what the difference is. Are we still trying to get down where, where, we're, where we're making it solid? Like, well, I'm real, they're not. In that whole moment, that motherfucker is saying that you're not. Before you even show your pussy, your ovaries, your kids, your baby pictures. You and I've matter. seen, I have seen women do it and men, men, men done been like, they still doubt. You was a nigga. Yeah. And it's be, and a lot of times because they might be like, there's some women that are out here that are like over six foot. There's some women that got massive hands. There's some women that uh, facially structured, they might look like. So he said they, massive hands. There's some women that got big hands. I won. Oh, but yeah. I'm a nigga though. Why, why he say massive hands? <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> well that just because your dick look and the hands look big around. Oh, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. Did I make you sneeze, mom? No, you didn't make me sneeze. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying that's what that's what people say. They say it because they're they're mat, they're they're like very tall or they got big hands. Or they are, uh, or facially structured. They have like strong facial features. That doesn't mean that. That doesn't just necessarily say, "Oh, you are masculine" or "You are a man." No. <clears throat> Let's be clear. It's trans women out here that is look exactly like women. That look exactly like biological yeah. women. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. So when you saying that they're they're 
that you may get mistaken. There are and there are beautiful trans women out here in this motherfucking world. Beautiful. That takes time and effort and energy into their illusion. So what are we talking about here? Yeah, I don't think it's just cool to just just put a label on somebody without even getting to. So again, transphobia affects all women, not some, not pieces. Because at any, any at any given moment, a motherfucker be like to the to the most beautiful woman. I think you're a man. Mm. To the most beautiful woman. That's true. It can happen. To the most beautiful woman, it can happen. Especially depending on where you also stay too. It it could it it could increase the likelihood of them thinking that. Because I know that there has been situations, especially I've heard where they be like, yeah, if you if you go to Atlanta, you got to be careful and stuff. like. So I've heard. So I've heard stuff like that. So it, it's so what you're saying, yeah, is it's very much valid. No, women get clocked <clears throat> just like the girls get clocked. They be getting clocked. Then there are some men that look like men that are women. <laughs> what? <laughs> she was staring you down over there. <laughs> but see, I don't get offended by that. <laughs> Cause you call me a dragon. <laughs> I remember the very first time that you called me a dragon, and you was like, "Girl, is it okay?" I'm like, "Faggy, I'm alright." You <laughs> said, "Fuck you, dragon." <laughs> oh my god, I'm not sensitive with that shit because because you know the, you know the truth about the fact. But, but you know, I do think that that is part of the reason. Like we you, we have to have difficult conversations, and that's the only way we can Just bridge communities. And a lot of times we don't have those conversations because people are afraid of sounding ignorant. That's Making a good mistake. point. Somebody said that where? there are women, there are women out there who have PCOS, where they grow facial hair. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. There are women that grow that have. My mother has a little t has a, has a little a little little fuzz up on it. I'd be like, Mama. <laughs> I say, I, and 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 here's me being messy. I have joked with my mama. Be like, Mr. Mary. No, <laughs> I'd be like, Girl, I knew you was a man. She said, Well, honey, if I was a man, I don't know how the hell you got through me. Uh, you know, we just be like we. I joke with my mom like that, but listen, there are women. And that's, you know. Yeah. I just it just gets on my nerves, and they just want to be so. Those people who have that mentality want to be so separated. Where it's like, well, they talking about y'all. They're not talking about me. When you, when a motherfucker walking in there, he confused. Right. I'm gonna tell y'all this story, and I'm gone from this. <laughs> I done told y'all this before. Uh -huh. Craig got. I was down there to the club, uh -huh. having a good time. Uh -huh. The trade clocked me, <laughs> and everybody with me. Uh -huh. Somebody just Gabrielle just said that in the comments. The trade clocked me and everybody with me. I went out with some girls, but all it, I was the only trans trans vaginal mesh amongst women. The only one trans vaginal mesh uh -huh. amongst women. That boy clocked all of us. I am five foot six and a half, five foot seven. The girl, some of the girls I was with, five eleven, five nine. They got on heels, like so. When that man clocked me, he just assumed he clocked everyone, right? And he clocked me. You want to know how he clocked? Me? How he clocked you, girl? Because the the cunts that I was with didn't. One of them didn't like me. Oh, so she told. And so she was, she was, she was sending out the signal. I didn't know one of the cunts that I was with. Uh -huh. I didn't know her. And so she was sending out the signal because I was in the club. I'm having drinks. Uh huh. I'm being bought drinks. Oh. And because my girlfriend that I knew was with me, I was having them buy her drinks. <laughs> 
And, you know, so the, the other two that, that didn't want to go with us because I was the trans of the group uh -huh. and was worrying about me... I'm just going to break it down. It's going to sound messy. I'm going to say Girl, it. Listen, we're not about to start doing that. Y'all motherfuckers are sensitive about what we say. Don't watch. Yeah, we're not about to be, we not about be watching. So I went, out, I went out to the club with the cunts. Me and my girlfriend and two hoes that I didn't even fucking know. One of the girls, that, I guess she didn't like me because I was the transy. Transy. <laughs> and tran bitch. Wait, what? You, you were tran no, transient. You were transient? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The bitch ain't live for me. And so we were out of the club. You know what I'm saying? I was asking like, girl, why the fuck do we even, was we even with these pussy ass motherfucking hoes anyway? These bitches over here acting like they all that. She's like, girl, this is my friend friend or whatever. I'm like, I already didn't vibe with them anyway. Uh-huh. Okay. And so, bitch, I'm the TS. I don't give a fuck. The, the TS. <laughs> and I don't give a fuck how unattractive any pussy ass hoe feels feel on their time with me. Bitch, I ooze sex. What do you do? Ooze <laughs> sex. <laughs> and so we in the motherfucking bar and I'm I'm getting played. Uh-huh. This is what happened. That's right. I'm getting played. All my transsexuals out there that know this, know this for a fact. That this is this how this shit be. It's something about a tranny. A trainee. T R A N I E, a trainee. It's just something about it. Then that shit be them, it be them nigga magnets. So it was just all night. I, I'm getting drinks, whatever. So, bitch, I can't drink everything. So I'm got my homegirl yeah. drinking. My homegirl drinking. We having a good time or whatever, whatever. These two puss ass motherfucking hoes over there, and I'm giving it to you in layman's turn. Uh huh. These two puss ass hoes over there feeling some type of way. I done seen one of the bitches done send out the little signal to another motherfucker. What was the signal though? <laughs> I done seen this bitch do this. I'm like, oh girl. Mm, mm, mm. I think this bitch is pouring my tea. Right. But what she didn't understand that within her pouring, my motherfucking chats uh -huh. got all of us clocked. <laughs> mm -hmm. For one. <clears throat> Bitch, you one of them was six feet, six one. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm five, I'm I'm five six, mm -hmm. five seven. My girlfriend is five three. So y'all were the one of the smaller. We ones. were the small girls. You get what I'm saying? My girlfriend was a, <clears throat> she's a biological woman too. I it was I was the only trainee in the in the, in the group. The only one. I was the only the only one in training from in, in training <laughs> from all of these real women. I was the only one in training. Right, right, right. You get what I'm saying? And so the the broad felt some type of motherfucking way, and then she put out a little signal, but that shit backfired on her. <clears throat> By the time we were bitch, we were all running for our lives, <laughs> except them two bitches. They were so busy digging in their purse mm. because the dudes was <clears throat> running. They digging down their pocketbook. Uh uh, I got my ID. I can show you my ID. Uh -uh. Them niggas was like, bitch, you a nigga. <laughs> they doing all of that. I don't they care about all your this ID. while they digging for ID. I don't care about your ID. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Want this bitch? I don't give a fuck. So they were digging all in their bags, honey. What to get about to get bopped in they shit <laughs> for being messy. And what were you doing? Bitch, I was already to my car, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I was already to my car, girl. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't give a fuck about them anyway. Let them beat them niggas up. Let them beat them punks up over there. Mo, give me one of them down there, please. <laughs> Craig. Girl, you ain't got to your car that quick. I got to my car, girl. Let them beat no pumps up over there. Girl did, girl, did you have one of these numbers on that night? <laughs> I know. Girl, did you have on one of these numbers that night? Girl, because you had got to your vehicle. I had got to my vehicle, but they were up under my arm like this. <laughs> Where, where was your pocketbook? Bitch, I had it. If you thought a bitch could run a football down a motherfucking field, <laughs> bitch, I had those heels up under my arm, bitch. I was, you have them heels? Bitch, I had those heels <laughs> firmly planted up, and I was gone. But, but where's your pocketbook? Where's bitch, your pocketbook? on this arm. <laughs> so you were like this. Bitch, I was like this. <laughs> like this. Like this. <laughs> Shoes, heels, purse, heels. Yeah, I was like this. Sister, sister, since you got me clocked, y'all fight that battle. <laughs> okay, right. Bitch, you want yeah. to be messy? Look, protect yourself. But, but, but handle your own business. They say you did a saucy Miss Santana? Since you, I did a saucy <laughs> Since y'all want to be messy, bitch, you battle that on your own. I'm, I'm got my girlfriend. I'm like, girl, get in the car. Maddie, Maddie, ju just, just, for, just for good time's sake, let me just play real quick so they get a picture of what you did. What's your own boat? <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Loop it, Mo. <laughs> Loop it. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Uh. <laughs> Whoa, <Matt! laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Scrape like that! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <sighs> All right, that's it, folks. Girl, she was in the wind. That's, that's oh. exactly how it went. But bitch, I was a little bit more fast. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I was out of there. <laughs> Bitch, oh, God. since you always want to be messy cunts, oh. you going out there, and you, since you want to play faggot games, <laughs> yes, you going to get those faggot motherfucking prizes, <laughs> bitch. Okay. Because you ain't nobody had to spill my oh. tea. I didn't need you spilling my motherfucking tea. Oh. Bitch, I didn't need you over there telling those, those men what I was. Because quiet as this motherfucking cap, quiet as this cap, bitch. You get what I said? One of them I thought was already was so into it. Girl, we on that. We great. We is tongue kissing. We is carrying on on the Ooh. floor. He got mad, bitch, because because he snatched me from some other one. And so, mind you, you got to you got to keep in mind, the two cunts was over there jaded, mm -hmm. feeling some kind of way. And I'm like, girl, we all came out here, bitch. This the club. Sitting over there, giving anything come for me. <laughs> <laughs> did, did anything come for me? <laughs> Girl, I got you an extra drink. Girl, here. I got you a drink. Girl, hold it down, girl. <laughs> Shit, hold it down. Oh, girl, God. calm down. All right. <laughs> I got you a drink, sir. <laughs> oh. Sir, I got you a drink. Calm down. <laughs> right. Oh, and it's God. just like, why were you, you know, I didn't, and I have had so many different experiences with women doing that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And as much as they talk, they try to put that narrative out that I don't like women and I don't like black women, all this stuff. Like, bitch, if I tell y'all the stories of the dark shit that bitches done did to me, just like to try to get me hurt, like the dark story. I'm from Miami. Mm -hmm. When people be talking about how aggressive, bitch, I'm aggressive like I am because I had to battle my way through. Motion detected at <laughs> Because I've had to battle my way through things from messy shit bitches done did. Right. You know, early in my transition, I done had bitches do shit. I was fucking this man, right? Mm. I told this Maddie Mobby, I don't I can go back and tell any story. I was fucking this man. And so me and the man was fucking around for the longest. I told you this too, Craig. Mm -hmm. We were fucking around for the longest and we never spoke to each other in per like in in, in, in per like oh, in public. There was a hurricane that came through and we were caught outside in a hurricane, girl. <laughs> Someone saw us intimately communicating in, in the hurricane. How do you communicate intimately That's in what the I hurricane? Was like, Were you in <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's giving all of that. Oh yes, I was in his I was in his vehicle. <laughs> Talking to him in his face with my hands and on wait, his wait, nuts. Oh, oh, Maddie, oh Maddie. Your, your hand was where during during the hurricane? Oh yes, bitch, it hadn't hit yet. It was they said, fuck, <laughs> they said fuck safety. It was coming, <laughs> and so was he. <laughs> the hurricane was coming, and so was he. And so was he. <laughs> Tell me more. Uh -huh. We kissing and shit. <laughs> so we done got caught. We've gotten caught. So the cunt took it upon herself oh, to start God. the. Girl, I saw, I saw you and him <laughs> walking in the rain. Yes, go ahead. But definitely, I saw you and, and him. him. <laughs> go ahead. But it was basically, I saw you and Tim. Correct. Ah! <laughs> yeah. It was definitely, I saw you and Tim. Mm -hmm. So when, oh. the th when, it, when things were about to get out of hand, uh-huh. I was reached out to by my husband. Oh. And, <laughs> <laughs> and what had happened next? He had it, and I was young. So this is the thing. I was. This is why I tell y'all girls, believe half, believe none of what you see, bitch, and half of what you hear. Oh, my God. Believe none of what you fucking see and half of what you hear. Because he has said to me, okay, this is what I'm going to do. When I see you in person, I'm going to act aggressive to you. And I'm going to act like that I want to do some, some harm to you. I'm not going to hit you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to rough you up a bit. 
so that we can be clear that that's nothing going on. So he wanted to play charades so that just in case any of the straight people saw him interacting with no, you. No, just in case when the, no, he wanted to, he wanted to, because he had got out. Right, so he wanted to make it look like he didn't fuck with you like or that. The, the, or that, and he didn't, and if, and if, and what, depending on anything that was given out, bitch, you know, he didn't know. Right. This is why I'm an advocate for y'all girls, kill me, y'all women's. Kill me when y'all be behind them. As much as these lit niggas tell y'all these motherfucking lies and falsities, as much as they lie to you, the time when he says he didn't know, mm, that's what you want to believe. Him. This the time you want to believe it, <laughs> right? <laughs> this the time that you didn't want to believe. So, because I was young. Like Mo's age? Oh, no. He's not that young. <laughs> Don't be fooled. <laughs> His ideas tells a different story. Uh-huh. But because I was young, I thought that he loved me. Mm. And that it was more so for me to protect my husband from what he, from the ravishing of the public that I was going to allow myself. Girl, I done told you the hush. I'm telling the story. Right. Home. <laughs> that I would allow myself to be put in harm's way to protect him. Mm. Because he loves me. Mm, mm, mm. The lies we tell ourselves. And the men too. They lie, they tell their mother. Absolutely. Themselves. And the lies that, that women believe. You don't want to help me, do you, Craig? Oh, they already tear me up about the non-binary. You got this one by yourself. You got this one by yourself. And the lies that women believe. I didn't know. Which takes us all the way back to, Mo, I need you to go back to that comment Which where was? that broad said, if y'all would stop oh. dressing up as us. Mm. Hold on. I might have to click through them, but. If y'all would stop dressing up as a, it's y'all like we the problem. Is this it? If y'all would try the next no, one. try, try the next. next one. If y'all would stop trying oh. to dress up as us. No, that's not it, Mo. Isn't that it? No, Mo, one. you can't see. Uh, -uh. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. You're right. Greg, see if you can. See <clears> if let if me you find, find it. it. Thanks, Mo. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. Be be careful. <laughs> to put this as it as it, it is. My it is is my our fault, and my thing is when it all boils down to it. When it all boils, it was just up. It was up. Yeah. When it right there. Okay. According to the comment, <clears throat> y'all not wanting to stay men, which y'all will forever be, is causing some real women to be mistaken for trans because mm. there's so many of y'all confused so. Well, <laughs> that, that, that was not me. She did it. Well, let's well let's talk about the confused souls that are when we went because when it boils the whole nucleus of this the what girl the nucleus girl you didn't got scientific I have <laughs> what I have the nucleus of this whole thing and I'm gonna go to the bathroom at the because I'm gonna say a word and I'm gonna go oh uh, okay well what you want me to talk about once you go. I need you to save yourself. But the whole, <laughs> the whole nucleus of this whole thing, when you when you when you drawn around the circle, circle, you know what it boils back to? The men. Really? And it boils back to the men because when y'all motherfuckers be saying we need to stop tricking and lying to them, no, they need to stop tricking and lying to you. you. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, any thoughts on that? Girl, no, that's it. You put a nice little bow on it. We're going to go ahead and put this label hold on, on hold it. Hold on, Mo, because we're going to talk about Because we got the weed made and the stallion in there, too. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot all about that, Meg the stallion. 
So apparently Tory Lanez is going back to court. He's appealing for the 10 year sentence for this 10 year sentence. Now, I don't know if he thinks he's going to get uh, off completely or if he just thinks that he's going to get a lesser sentence. I don't know what that is, but sorry, you shot that lady. Like what, what, what else is there to do? Like you shot that lady. Yeah, that's what everybody. That's what everybody there said. You, they say you shot her. So, I was ready to move on to something else, but we're gonna sit right here. Oh, this hoodie is available at my website, CraigTheWriterStewart.com. We have all different cities and states. We have uh, Duval girl. You know what I mean? We got uh, a queen from Queens. We got all kinds of stuff over there, CraigTheWriterStewart.com. I saw your comments earlier. Somebody just asked again. Sorry about it, but y'all had tried to embroil me in this uh, non-binary fight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, these are new mics. And Craig, you want to know some other real shit? What's that? What? All the women. Come on, I'm back. I'm back. Still shaking the table. Why are you kicking your? I guarantee you that all of those women that be screaming about this, this, and the other, and how, uh, how those men. Whoop de whoop, be uh, 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 colorism and all that, because colorism do play a part in it, because mm -hmm. they do do it. It's much, it is definitely a lot of ma ma <laughs> majority dark skin women, but them light skin women get it too, because I, I know some light skin women that have been misgendered. I've seen it with my eyes, mm -hmm. but they be participating. In. How many of you bitches out there don't call my? Because I can, I'm gonna hold my hand up. Hey, this this is this is the part of the show what we call accountability. Yeah. I have called Wendy Williams, Wendy Wendell, Bartholomew, Bartholomew <laughs> Orenthal, Rufus <laughs> Clyde, Theotis, Pookie, James and the Giant Peach, Hezekiah Walker Williams. I've said this throughout the entire of the, of the Queen's Court show. I did that. Mm -hmm. But you know, I also did that next to a woman. Mm -hmm. I've also watched that same woman call Meg Thee Stallion Marcus. I've also watched these, I've, Marcus, I've watched these, so when we be talking about these things and we want, we talk about change, we participate in the things. Mm -hmm. We participate in these things. And a lot of you women have participated in transphobia too. I remember when they were saying Sierra was a man. I was young at that time. Oh, how how how's the LBGTQ? How's the LBGTQ bullies? How are we bullies? Are, are we are, are we over there telling you, bitch, that you can't have no no health care? Are we over there trying to deny you work because you're straight? Are we making law? Are we putting laws in place that because you're a straight person, bitch, that you can't work on your job or you can't have fair housing or you can't have fair employment? Are we doing that as fags? And we don't see the parallel. Some of you don't see the parallel between that and civil rights. That's what white people were trying to do during Jim Crow and slavery. <clears throat> so the shit that you're fighting against white people for are the same thing. That you some turn around and you're doing this to the fags. Right. So my thing is, as 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 when you when you say these things, that we're bullies and that we're you know, you know like like we're terrorists and shit like that. Think about the world that you live in and all the rights that you have just because you're heterosexual. Think about that, and then listen to the people that are fags that are telling you, "Hey, I want to I want to eat too, I want a job too, I want a house too." And then go down and look at your law list and stuff like that. And when people are trying to put sanctioning laws in places to where these rights are taken away from yeah. you, or that you have the ability to discriminate against people because they are not straight. And lest I remind you of what I said the other week, but not for the fact that black queer people existed, many of the rights that have been afforded to we you, can't see the comments, but what you, you would not have okay. because we did the work. We were on the front line of every major movement in this country. So when you say, when you talk about being bullies and being, you know, forcing things, what about us fags that had to grow up and see y'all kissing every day on fucking TV? I ain't never knew nothing about being no goddamn tranny or no damn homosexual. Or nothing. I didn't know anything about that. I knew what was inside of me, but all I saw was straight, 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 straight. That's all my programming was. That was my whole programming. What are you talking about? 
-hmm. talking about programming, and then you get mad when you see at least one thing that has something to do with it. Oh God! Oh shit! Oh, they taking over! Oh, they taking over! Oh, they taking over! Oh God! Here they go. Let me. Oh, I'm so sick of them. And that's the same thing white folks said. These niggas on TV again. Craig, hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me do this. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare equate racism to motherfucking homosexuality. Right. That's a choice. Right. You chose to be that. Mm -hmm. Don't you dare. Don't you dare put those two things there. That is completely different. Mm -hmm. Can you show us the parallels, Craig? Right. Because they give. Oh, that's the gay agenda. There are a lot. There are lots of par parallels. Like we've. Somebody said, "Who's the guy?" What did that say, Craig? Who's the guy? Uh, where? Mo, Mo, you need your glasses. Don't don't leave your glasses. Come out. <laughs> Somebody said, "Craig, who's the guy?" I thought I could manage without him. No, <laughs> he's not. He's not that young. Oh, uh, Bayard Rustin. There's a show. There's a, a a film on Netflix now called Rustin. Yeah, R U S T I N. So again, Craig, I want to because I don't want you to try to bring that together because you know we got black people watching here, and I want I don't want you to, don't you dare try to bring that together. But discrimination is discrimination, right? It's the same. I, well, we we know that because we're I, I mean I have an HSBCU degree, <laughs> but I live life. Yeah. And this is why when people be ask be telling me why don't why the fuck do you be standing up for so because I I understand inequality, mm -hmm. I understand oppression, I understand unfairness mm -hmm. so when i'm speaking up for a big bag woman or for a woman that's being this being motherfucking transphobia is being held against her when i'm speaking up for that i know it i know it firsthand mm -hmm. a lot of you play oblivious well that don't got nothing to do with me right Well, <clears throat> there's something that I want to segue into oh. since we're in the. Um, What's that? The guy, that the comedian guy. Gerard. Gerard. Girl, I couldn't wait to get here. Well, we're here now. So what's up? <laughs> wait, hold on. We may not be here. Oh. No, continue. Boom. There we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. All there right. We go. Okay. Okay. No, we just was trying to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, the gays have no, been no. Put that back out there. Oh, okay. Go the ahead. gays have been in an uproar because this fag, F A G, <laughs> he has a reality show that's coming out, and and it's going to be on HBO. It's going to be on Max. Can we hear the trailer? Because we can't play it, I, right? Because that's HBO's property. Okay. Yeah. Did I send it to you? That's HBO's property, and we not definitely not getting no strike for that. Because I will mute. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and try to find this this trailer real quick. We can just go here. because I think Oh, you they, found it? Okay. Um, is it, just go through here. Is it, where is it? There it is. There it is right here. So we can do the scroll through. Here it uh -huh. is. Y'all had a video? It's not. It's not the video. Oh, wait. Wait, because it's two posts about this. Right. Oh, they're going to be snared at them. Hold on. There was two posts about it, Craig. They had the video. You want me to send the one that you, uh, uh, Craig sent me? Did I send you the video? Yeah, I believe we did. Send it to my inbox. But Craig, while we're while we looking for the video, talk about it. So. <clears throat> that gonna be... That's who? <laughs> who was that? Oh, that's Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know those people. <laughs> See how you just use they and them? Great. I said those people. That's that's plural. <laughs> <laughs> I just said it to you, Maddie. Okay, so Gerard Carmichael, he came out to his mom. His mom is from like I, I believe like South Carolina. She's from one of the Carolinas. He's from one of the Carolinas. She's devout as a devout Christian. And in this trailer for his reality show that's coming, mm, it is okay. Yeah, because like someone died, it hurt my feelings. Mom basically said I was going to hell. I didn't write the Bible. I don't think anybody's being hard on you. I think people are calling you to do better. And Lord, I come to you, Gerard and I, take the desire from my son to be with a male. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. I love you. Okay. This time to be just 
discussed on camera. Yes, I bring in cameras, and yes, that's my way, and yes, I'm afraid to have these conversations without them. That's just bullshit wild. Open. I may have to cut that out. So the gays are really upset that, well, for a couple things. They find this, this sizzle for his reality show problematic because... He has a white man. He has a white man. That's really why the gays are really, the black gays are really upset. So he, he has, has a white, like, he has a white Craig, boyfriend. Well, Craig, oh. here's the thing. But have you not heard the black gays say they're tired of seeing it? That the that the key to black let me, gay success. Let me get to my notes. Hold on, I, I don't need no. I just, that the key to black gay success is once you've reached it, because it's the same way with if it was heterosexual. The key to success is once you've successfully made it that you start to you start to date outside of your race. Have we not heard this time and time again? Whether it's within the heterosexual, excuse me, the homosexual community, or the heterosexual community, have we have this not been a time and time again? Statement. <clears throat> I need to take my time with this. Go ahead. Oh, Miss Netta's live. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I watch it when it's done. Go ahead. <laughs> you will miss. Miss Miss Netta. Go ahead. You will miss. I just, I think I, I got notification. Miss <laughs> Netta was live. You actually follow them? I do. I like Miss Netta. <laughs> and when I say them that time, I meant. Miss Netta and Charles. No, you meant Miss Netta. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want to take my time with this Gerard Carmichael story. Because it's also going to tie into this other part, too, that we need it to It certainly about. is. Okay, go ahead. Well, go ahead. So I have, I have some notes here. Okay, Craig took notes. Because there, were, there was a time that I was frustrated with successful black people who started to date outside of the race, who dated white people. Because in my mind at the time, I felt like you were taking that, those resources that could create future generations of wealth in the black community and you're giving it right back to white folks. That was the way I felt at one time. Whether you were gay or straight, that was how I felt. But at this point in my life, I've started to think a bit more critically about it. And I understand when we're talking about people like Don Lemon, Billy Porter, Karamo Brown, and Gerard Carmichael. The answer isn't always black and white. It's not always, oh, now that they've reached a certain level of success, now to seal the deal, I'm really successful once I find me a white partner. I do believe that, somebody said RuPaul, I do believe that there are instances where there are black people, gay, straight, whatever, who look to date outside of their race. I believe, and whether you're black and you only date outside of your race or you're Asian and you only date outside of your race, I think that's an identity issue when you are, are, are of a particular race and you only date outside of your race. That's an identity issue, period. But. I do think that there are instances where there are people who reach that success and they say, okay, let me find me a white person. But then I also think that sometimes we just get tired. Mm. Because when you've done a certain amount of work on yourself and you start to realize that the work that you've done on yourself, everybody else hasn't necessarily done that work on themselves. And when we're talking about sexuality, there's very specific work that has to happen for you to get comfortable in your skin. And when you start to reach certain heights, a Tyler Perry, for example, What's, what? a Sean Puffy Combs, for example, ooh, we got to, ooh. they're not going to come out because we haven't given black men permission to be who they are. You mean come out as what, Craig? Whatever they are. Girl, you did a lot of rustling over there. Daddy. No? Do you know what you just put up? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but here's the thing. But here's the thing. Once you reach a certain... It erased? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> once you reach a certain height in your career, sometimes you want... <laughs> no, Craig doesn't have no white partner. 
<laughs> but sometimes you get to the point where you reach a certain level in your career and a certain level of success. You want partnership. And unfortunately, when you reach certain heights, there aren't many of us there who are also out. We may be there, but we're not out. And what I'm not going to do is do this work on myself. And then I reach to a, reach a certain level of success. And I got to go back in the closet because you're not clear about who you are. And so we have to, my thing is this, with Gerard Carmichael, would y'all have wanted him if he, was, if he wasn't famous and, and had some money? Because you know, the gays love a man with a body. That's why they be down at the gym leaving those things on the Correct, floor. and Gerard Carmichael is a slim guy. <laughs> they most probably would have thought he was corny. And if we really gonna be honest, and remember what I said at the top when we were talking about the non-binary thing, sometimes the truth can be so pure that it stings and we don't always want to hear it. Yeah, people are saying no. no. The truth is this, and I'm only talking about black queer people right now. Don't tell me anything about what white folks do and Hispanic men do the same thing. I'm talking about us. I understand that there are vestiges of slavery that still occur today. I believe that there are so many parallels between the way that gay men and trans women date black women, I mean black, date black men, and how black women date black men. The common denominator is black men. And I really believe that there needs to be some sort of a case study. Wait, 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 Craig. So before I went to the bathroom and I circled around, I said the nucleus yes. men? Was yeah. I, was I right? Yes. Oh, okay. Continue. They're the common denominator. And I understand that there are systemic issues, things that reach all the way back to slavery. I get it. But when are we going to start holding black men accountable for how they show up and sometimes show out in relationships? Like, per perfect example, this whole thing that happened with Love is Blind. I'm, I, know, I know you don't watch that, but this story with Clay and the girl A.D. Clay's father passed down trauma. Clay's father took him on these excursions when he was cheating on his mother. So now Clay has, has adopted that behavior. Kind of the same way. And, you know, this is going to sound like I'm be throwing shade, and I am. Yeah. Kind of the same way like when Boosie had his 12 and 13-year-old son dick sucked. Correct. Do, don't you know that that's passing down a trauma? That Correct. Was, that was passed to him because he, in his brain, is thinking. And the women that finding it. Hold on, because yeah. I got, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I'm finna, ooh, I'm finna loop this well, in. Can I, can I no, hold on, bro, because, you know, it's, it may leave me. Well, I think it might coincide with what you're saying okay but, but even though it might you might give me a little it may leave time. me it may leave me hold on let me okay, get out go, go ahead go ahead go ahead and, and kind counter of the same way that it, it hypersexualizes these men at a young age and they be trying to figure out like why these niggas is fucking everybody mm -hmm. fuck everybody and why they don't treat black women with respect and then and this and the other because the dad has instilled it from what his dad instilled to him with his dad that got it because he was trying to make him not be homosexual mm -hmm. and stuff like that and then there's a lot of single mothers in the home and kids spread out all over the place and stuff like that could that be what you're saying that's vestiges of slavery oh african slaves were were treated as cattle oh. you're gonna make some children over here then i'm gonna sell you and then over to this plantation oh. you're gonna make some children over there that's no different from a black man who's having children over here in bankhead by four and five different women then he move over down to cascade he got two or three baby mamas over there then he down here in riverdale those are vestiges of slavery. There are remnants and things that still exist today. So while I give black people and black men grace, just like I sit here and I give you the truth as I see it about white folks, we have to be honest with each other because one of the best parts of life is when you can admit the truth to yourself about yourself. And the, and, and the truth is this, the truth is this, we have to start, we, I think there needs to be a case study and we have to really start looking at how black men are impacted when there's no father present in the house mm -hmm. because those little black boys grow up to be grown men and they don't know how to show up in relationships for women or us oh come on mo mo has something that he wants to say yeah, because i do, he's and, the straight and, one here mm -hmm. no because at come the on, same look at, at the same time that i do agree with you i also believe that there's not not everything is being told i think i think responsibility <laughs> needs to be on what did he both, say 
if you listen, he'll say it. Wait, say that again. I, no, I said even though I agree with what you guys are saying. What, mm -hmm. what, sorry. It's what, okay with you guys. I'm all right. <laughs> but I, I agree with what you're saying because I do, I do specifically agree with everything Craig said. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I think that there are other parts to it also. So, perfect example, when you said that they are, especially about the Maddie, when you said that men aren't around in the home, I agree. Men should be more in the home. But it's not just because of men not wanting to be home. It also has to do with, that's why I say it, it needs to be both sides need to take responsibility. What do you mean both sides? Perfect example. A lot of, not a lot, but there are times also because men are not in the home, also because of the other party. You can say women, yeah. Mo. Well, just, don't, don't dance around okay, it. You can of, say women. Yeah, women. Like there was also, there's a documentary that came out with uh, the Cosmopolitan, Politan that came out. They, they said that they were putting, they were feeding women the, the whole thing about, I don't need a man. I'm just going to do everything by myself. And that's what was make that's what, and I'm not talking about the women nowadays. I'm talking about the women of before that was making women saying, okay, I don't need a man. Let's get, I don't need a man in my house. I could do better without him. And that's what also with the whole thing of, um, assistant living, assistant living, that was also to promote single living. So I think that also at the same time, yes, men have a responsibility to be at home. Yes, men also need to do better at being at home, but we also have to also consider the other side too. Okay, because me, we let, can't just say right. It's but, but let me say men. this, just like I was saying in the beginning, I want us to focus just on black men because what happens is we start pivoting. Well, women, da 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 da. Okay, let me just say this for the sake of saying it. I understand that there are men who want to participate in the rearing and the raising of their children. But some women have made it difficult for them to show up because the woman is still angry with that man for how the relationship ended because right. he cheated, da, da 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 and they make it difficult for men to get in. Right. So I understand, but let's focus on black men right now because a lot of times we start pivoting and, and the same thing happens when we start talking about things in the black gay community a lot of times black gay men will come forward and say, well, white men do the same thing. It's not just gay. But we're not talking about them. Let's focus on our healing instead of pivoting. And so what, what I want to say is there's so much I want to say, and I really hope that I'm clear. Most black men are raised in single woman-led households, You're whether right. gay, straight, bisexual, whatever. You're right. Most are raised in single woman-led households, whether it's your grandmother, your aunt, your mother. It's a woman that's raised in that household. Mm -hmm. There's something that happens to a little boy when the father is not there, just as something happens when a, when, to a little girl when the father is not there. Yes. Something happens, yes. and it happens differently for, for, the, for them. But what I'm saying to you is there's a trauma that little black boys carry with them from the time that they're an adolescent to the time, it's how they deal with women, it's how they socialize with women, it's how they bob and weave in and out of the relationship, that non-committal thing. That's a real thing. And that doesn't mean that there aren't white men that are non-committal. But what I'm saying is when we're looking at the community as a whole, that shit is an, is, is an epidemic in the black community. Yes. That shit is spreading through our community like a cancer. So just to circle this back to Gerard Carmichael, Let's just say he was looking for a black man. I've been, I've been, I, Craig, has been looking for partnership with a black man. But one of the things that I know to be true is that the qualities that draw people to you are the same qualities that make them insecure once they're with you. They're drawn to you because you can speak well, because you're educated, because you're successful, because you got a great body, because you're nice looking. All of those things. You're ambitious, but then as soon as they get with you, they can't handle it. The air becomes thin once they get, because everybody can't go to those next, those next levels. And the same thing, I'm gonna make it plain for you ladies, the same thing happens with black women. When a black woman is educated, she owns her own house, she has a car, she doesn't have any children, and there's not a man in sight because he's a, she's a threat to him. She's like kryptonite to him. And a lot of black men can't handle that. That's the conversation we have to have. And a lot of times black men don't want to hear that shit 
They want to blame it on women. Oh, well, women start making money and they want to be the man. Yes, that may happen in some incidents. But what happens across the board? When we, when we start thinking from a general perspective. And so back to Gerard Carmichael. A lot of black gay men are upset that he's dating these, these white men, these white boys. If I was attracted to white men, I would be exploring by now because I'm sick of six month relationships. I'm sick of nine month relationships, two year relationships. The truth is, I don't think enough of us, and I'm not saying that some of you haven't done your work because it took me a minute to do my work and everybody has to do their work in their own time. But too few of us are really looking at ourselves critically and asking ourselves, why am I on Twitter fucking strangers? Right. Why am I on Jack and, and, and whatever else and I'm okay with going to the gym having sex with strangers? And the answer usually is, oh, well, I just enjoy sex. Yeah, maybe some people do just enjoy sex. I love sex. But what is going on with us that we're not really stopping to think, why am I, why, why, why am I demonstrating this behavior? Well, Craig, also you have to look at that you and I both and almost Mo, we're in a different age bracket. <laughs> and almost Mo. Yeah. Because he's not that young. Yeah, yeah, he's not. And so we're in a different <laughs> age bracket and we've gotten to a place in our life where we're looking at like, okay, we're successful people, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we don't want ourselves to be involved. We want people to want us for for us and deal with us for right. for mm -hmm. us. And I could go have sex with a with a jump with a yeah, a, a nigga, mm -hmm. come fuck mm -hmm. me, nigga. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Hush ho! Right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Unplug her ass. <laughs> you're getting mad you're plugging the wrong bitch son told me all this motion <laughs> what was I saying Craig? you said oh yeah so, <laughs> <laughs> we can go get jump offs and all this stuff like yeah. we're we're at an age and place in our life where it doesn't like, fulfill you it doesn't like I'm okay like I, like I can go get my dick sucked tomorrow I get my dick sucked today I can go suck dick today I can do like like mm -hmm. I don't have I, these are not issues that I'm and then I, I I see bitches write shit on the thing that you ain't got no, we don't never see you with no man. You ain't got no man. First of all, I'm too valuable for, for me just to be prancing around with any fucking body. Right. Are you kidding me? Right. I am too valuable to just be up online holding a bitch hand and posting a nigga mm -hmm. up on social media, bitch, because his stock just went up. Listen. No, Craig, is this it Yeah, 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 yeah. Because his stock just went up. Mm hmm So... I'm in a space where I'm not gonna just be, I'm not gonna just be holding hands and all. And right. listen, I could be, I could, I could be right now in a whole large relationship standard saying, yeah, this is my man, but mm -hmm. is am I ready? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Am I ready for that? Because see, I think that people are confusing relationships with companionship. Many of you out here talking about you want to be in a relationship. No, you really want companionship. You just want somebody to, to hang out with for the weekend. Diff different, uh, different I, I'm shape, about to. Different shape some, of some of you just want somebody to hang out with for the weekend. You want a little sex buddy. You wanted somebody to go down to Miami with for the weekend. That's a different difference between that and relationships. Relationships is where, you're, is, is where you're building. And see, here's the thing. And I don't know where I'm going to put this, but I wrote this the other day. <laughs> you got a lot of folks wanting to play house but nobody's ready to build one. Right. Hey, y'all, baba, shata. Didi, y'all, baba, sierra, tata. Robo, baba, ku. Rick, can I emphasize a word? Go ahead. Come on, let's see. Because I would say this about, especially about the world today. We think relationship is like how they show it on social media. On Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Relationships are hard work. It's all about work. You really never really actually ever know the person you're with completely. You're... It, that relationship, you're constantly learning something new. But people are so quick to give up once a little. And, and I'm talking about for a small thing. I'm not talking about for the extreme things. There are people that give up for the small things. I'd like things. an example of what you consider a small thing. Uh, okay, perfect example. Somebody might just say, oh, uh, you're, all, you're always working. You never have time for me. 
is always is always but about, that's not your partner that's somebody you just fucking go about no, your no i'm talking about you could be in a relationship that's, especially dependent depending depending on the person you're with that's not your, because there are people that make billions of dollars there are people that make billions of dollars that don't have a a a, t- a thing about um i could i could be home every single day so you heard that's not your partner because one thing your partner the one that's the partner that's for you the partner that's with that that is designed for you is going to understand the 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 entire intricate makeup of you and how y'all need to work together Mm -hmm. and i had to be learning these things because i'll start fooling around with somebody then they begin you get busy you always this yeah you listen to others i'm like yo 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 shawty I was doing this when you walked in the door. It's the same way, like, like to, to cir- circle this back around. Mm-hmm. In my previous business, when I used to be in the adult entertainment business, it was people wanted to be my boyfriend all the motherfucking time. Mm-hmm. But it was you wanted to be the big dick bitch's boyfriend because you saw her fucking and sucking dick, and that's what you wanted. You wanted to come in. You want this to be you all day. Coach, can I get in real quick? Come on. Because see, sometimes people are drawn and attracted to your dreams and not you. Aha. Uh-huh. And see, here's the thing. Relationships are the place that we go to learn and grow. Mm. And you have to be teachable. And oftentimes we go into relationships wanting to teach and wanting to control. Love is not ownership or control. Love is not ownership or control. Relationships are the place that we go to learn and grow. And oftentimes you want to go in and you want to lead and you want to tell people what to do. You're beyond reproach. Nobody can tell you anything. The time that you were single, you pined over being single. Well, where's my partner? Where's my boyfriend? Where's my man? Where's my girl? But during that time that you were single, that's when you should have been doing your work, beloved. Craig, they're saying we won't allow Mo to speak, but we we, we were actually concurring with Mo. Yeah, with, they, they were agreeing with what, what I'm you're saying. saying. Like, I don't understand. She was, what she was just saying was that that per, she wasn't saying, she wasn't disagreeing. She was just saying that the person that doesn't agree, that doesn't understand your life, that's not, they're not, that's they're not, not for your you. partner. But that that's, goes back to what I was saying. Right. People are drawn to your qualities. They're, they're drawn to that you, you're ambitious and you're doing this and you're moving and you're shaking. But then they want somebody that can sit there and text with them all day long. All day, right. It's like the qualities that draw people to you are often the same ones that make them insecure once you agree to be with them. And now all of a sudden, you always working. And now all of a sudden, you this and this, that. And now they can't handle that other people are attracted to you. They can't handle that you got all of these followers on Instagram and YouTube. And they worried about whether or not people are in your inbox. And Well, Craig, I-, I will have to ask you about this, though. How about if they, and I'm just asking because there's some people that are like that. There are people that will say in their mind that I'm ready for whatever, whatever comes our way. But as soon as it happens, you know, they can't really take it. Do you, can you really blame them? We need examples. Uh-oh. Okay. You can- perfect example. You just named one. They say, you tell them right off the bat, Maddie, you say that, Hey, I'm not going to be on the phone with you all the time. I, I work constantly. And they're like, okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. But once you guys start getting deep into the relationship, they're like, damn, like, I can't. And, and, and it, I, again, know. it takes me back to that's not the partner for me. Mm-hmm. It, and, and you have to notice these signs because what, what, what tends to happen is when we get into these situations, we begin to dumb down. Yeah. Or we begin and to I'm not going to shrink. Right. For a relationship. And women, I say this to you all. I do one on ones. I do like life coaching and stuff <laughs> like that. Um, and I had a one-on-one today and it's like, what, what really breaks my heart is when women who have bought their own home or started their own business, they meet a man after the fact. And because this man is insecure or he's intimidated by her, what she does to pacify his insecurities, she'll add him to her house so he can feel like it's their house. Yep. She'll add him to her business and then she starts consulting him. Babe, what you think I should do? Baby girl, you built this business without him. Now that doesn't mean that you can't ask for his suggestions, but you were moving before you met him. Now all of a sudden you can't think for yourself. A man only, listen, Mary J. Blige did it. Oh. 
Wendy Williams, we just Wait, saw her. Mary J. Blige did it again and again and again. And that means there's a tr there's some trauma bond that tends to happen. Come on. That some man is coming and filling that space that makes her con continuously do this again and again. You should never have to dim again. your light or shrink well, to make somebody feel comfortable. I've heard people say this, especially with us as black people. They say we're addicted to trauma. I've heard people say that. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. And see, it goes back to what I was saying before about, so like, again, when, when black boys are raised in households where there's no father, and again, I know that there are certain effects that happen to a, a little girl too, uh -huh. but I just want to focus on little boys. When wait, they don't wait, have- Wait, be careful. Hey, make sure you said it in the right tone on this show. <laughs> And see, that's what I'm saying. See, I'm really passionate. I'm really passionate about what I'm saying. But please make sure you say that in the right tone on this show. I just want to, they'll take that little sound bite and tear me up. No. Right, and then, look, and then we'll be talking about this on the next fast. Yeah, time. so make sure that you said it in the correct way. So, okay, let me, let me, let me say, okay, so sometimes when they're little boys. Uh, that have trauma. You want to focus on the traumatized. And they, and they have trauma. They have trauma. They have trauma. But like when there's no father present, some of the effects for a little boy, they start to pay attention to the men in their neighborhood, the drug dealer, the pimp, uh, the old, their uncles, the neighbors, and they pay attention to how those men operate in relationships. And if those men are philanderers, then they sometimes will model that same behavior. Correct. Because little boys, I believe men are very impressionable. Men, men tend to be followers. And so even if they do have that desire, like Clay on Love is Blind, even if they do have the desire to be in a long-term relationship, they get distracted by the noise. They get distracted by what they saw in the neighborhood. And so it becomes popular to have two and three different women. When truthfully, in his, at his core, he only wants to be with one. But do you honestly think, Craig, honestly, in all honesty, in your almost 50 years of life. Wait a minute now. I'm almost 48. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm almost 48. <laughs> you, look, I, you look good, though. Well, thank you. But, it, <laughs> but Craig, do you think in your close to 50 years close of Close to living, 48. Uh-huh. <laughs> What, what you want to say? Wait, you threw me off. I was, I was right. <laughs> I am rounding up. I'm close to 40. Yeah, and you're, and you're close to 50 years of living. Uh huh. On this earth. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> yes. Do you honestly, truly, and wholeheartedly believe that monogamy is a thing? I think it is for some people. Just like sexuality is instinctive, is how you're wired. I believe you're born straight, you're born gay, you're born non-binary, you're born trans. I believe you can be born those things, right? I believe some people can be born monogamous. It comes natural to some of us. But I think what happens is, because again, this group thought and this group think thing that happens, people who aren't monogamous pretend to be monogamous. They'll show up in a relationship pretending to be monogamous because they think if they give you their truth, that you'll leave, that, you'll, that, they'll, that they'll lose the opportunity for you. And so, for example, you have people who, let's speak, let's speak about gay men. You have gay men who know they enjoy having sex with strangers. Online, in a park, at the gym, wherever, the bathhouse. But instead of being forthcoming and forthright about that, they'll pretend that they're looking for something one-on-one. -on -one. They'll pretend that they're looking for a relationship when really they just want company for the weekend, companionship. And they seen that big old dick and they want that. And that's okay, just don't, listen, I told my friend, my very good friend the other day, I think it's because it's the Libra in me that I'm going to mirror your actions. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, and this, because I'm also close to, I'm in my mid forties. Girl, girl, you, 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 girl, girl, you, you, 
<laughs> I'm in my mid forties. You're over, over that. that hill? You're over. You're over that hill and rainbow. <laughs> you're over that hill and rainbow, <laughs> Faggy. <laughs> you're over that hill and rainbow, Faggy. <laughs> Not a wrinkle or a tear. I know. That, I know that's right. But being that I'm in my mid forties, mm -hmm. very close to my young forties. Um, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm monogamy. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you over here, so busy bullshitting. <laughs> and see, and I, I'm having a conversation with Dre talking about who hurt you, nigga. Sit down. Go ahead. <laughs> see, they don't ever want to hear the truth. I'm definitely in a space of understanding things a lot more, and I know that I don't want to be like really. I, I, I'm, I'm real. Mm -hmm. I'm straight up. If I have a partner, or if my part, if, if I get into a situation with my partner, and I know that my partner is, or I'm, I'm, I'm offering my partner the ability to come forth and tell me the truth, the whole truth. I, I'm in a space. I want the truth, all of it. I don't want to be guessing. I don't want to be wishing on a star. I want the truth, so that I know how to, I know how to maneuver myself through the Younger me, I'd have been like, yeah, you know. Now I'm just like, I just want the truth. If you want to fuck 15 bitches, right? If you want to fuck 15 bitches, I need for you to just let me know this so that I can let you know that it's 50 niggas in my phone that's trying to fucking suck on me, right? But see, it's easy to say that when there's no emotion attached. Soon as that, that heart string gets pulled, then all of a sudden it's given... But this is but here here's the thing, here's the thing to hold the to hold the heartstring. Here's the thing to hold the heartstrings in place. If you do this stuff at the top of a relationship with me, I understand how to move accordingly. But see, at the top of the relationship, you're not emotionally connected. No, but, but it, that's true. Th that is and true. As soon as them that's feelings true. start getting, you you want to start renegotiating the contract. No, Craig, this is my thing, because though. You remember, there's a lot of situations where it starts off just as friends with benefits. Yeah. And the next, thing but you know, then, somebody but hold on. It. But this is the thing. When it gets to that place where the lines are blurred, I <laughs> want my lines to be motherfucking straightened out in front of me. I uh -huh. want it to be straightened out in front of me. I don't want the blurred lines. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Oh, I'm. I'm. Just, I'm not that young, <laughs> and I don't want those blurred lines. I don't want that. I want to be very much so, bitch. Mm -hmm. You got some of the bitch. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. You can fuck some. You hear me? <laughs> but and, then you're not gonna want him doing that with everybody else. No, I'm not. And so, therefore, if he does, then I need to. I need to prepare myself for detachment. I need to be in the space of detach. Don't I don't want to be drug all the way out there with that. I want to I want to be bitch. Listen, mm -hmm. you know I got some shit to get together. Cause all right, boo, you know, cause I got some shit to get together in my in my shit too. I, you know, I believe that whatever you're looking for, it is also looking for you. So if you want a monogamous relationship, you can find that. The challenge is. Finding a motherfucker that's gonna be forthcoming and honest about it. If you are interested in a throuple or having a, a But there are people out there who have no interest in a throuple that are, that are in a throuple right now. There are people out <laughs> because there Because they need to keep the person that they with. Because this is and <laughs> there are people out there right now. Oh shit, what's going on? What happened? I think they Okay. Oh, um, oh, they can still hear yeah. us. I think it was. I, I, it, there are people out there right now on this earth, right now, or in a, is just over there, is having a bulldagging situation. Whether you a man having a bull, or a feminine man over there with another <laughs> feminine man, <laughs> trying to please your top. There's somebody out there right now that is doing, that's eating pussy. That don't ne ain't never ate pussy before. Ain't having because you trying to. Your man is a cheater. Mm -hmm. Your man is a cheater, Keisha. Your man is a cheater. <laughs> you don't have to cheat. You don't have to. It's, it, it, but see, sometimes people get into relationships thinking that they could change a the relationship is going to make them mon monogamous, or that and, they could change a certain person. That too. That, but that, it's like no that, one lies to you more than you lie to yourself. That's true. No one lies to you more than you lie to yourself. And so if you. You know when you dating somebody and you hanging out with somebody, you know they ain't got the capacity to be with you. to love you the way that you want to be loved, <laughs> or to be faithful, or to stick to the boundaries that you set in the relationship. You know that. 
Risa Tisa. Hey, don't we not do I'm just saying. Uh-uh. I'm just saying. No, Craig. No. I'm just, listen, I'm just uh-uh. saying. No. Listen, I'm just, I'm just no, saying. No, what you saying? I'm just saying. You, just, you sometimes see the signs early on and you ignore them. Yeah, we all have done that, but just don't call Risa Tisa out for Correct. that. Correct, but I'm just giving an example. I know that's... you give, but we just say we all done did it. Don't okay. Do, don't do Risa Tisa. Okay, and I will say this. We've all been someone's disappointment. Yes. yes. We've all been someone's disappointment because this is I, just as I sit here, and I'm talking my shit. There was a time that I was emotionally immature. Well, don't let the comments pile up. I You're was reading. emotionally immature. And I couldn't handle a conversation where, where it required me to express my feelings. Because I thought that, that was weak. I thought it made me too vulnerable. But communication is our partner. Clarity is our friend. And that's why I want you to be clear with me. Bitch, I love you. Mm-hmm. And I'll suck your dick till the sun come up. <laughs> But bitch, it's three bitches' dicks that I haven't sucked yet that I want to have. Those are some powerful jaws. But right. It's three bitches' dicks <laughs> that I want to suck that I ain't never had. You know what I'm going to tell that nigga? Go out there and get your, go out there and have your fantasy. Because when it's all said and done, I'm not going to have the same feelings for you no more. And I don't want you to even take me on that journey with you to have those types of feelings with you when, you know what I'm saying, when you're going to creep on me doing that. Because you're going to, mm-hmm. if, that, if that tastes in your mouth, mm-hmm. you're going to go handle that third. Yes, indeed. You're going to go find a way to get that. And again, this is why I tell ladies all the time, okay? <laughs> and I hate to bring this back to it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be no biological woman because I know that the taste that a man has for a woman, I could never, ever, ever feel that taste. Right. And baby, when that man has a taste for the girls, it ain't no pussy you got or no kid you can give that will stop him from getting that taste if mm-hmm. that's what he wants mm-hmm. to do. Mm-hmm. So I'm not in any space like feeling jaded towards a woman because she's a woman because there I can, there are things that a woman can, that gives a man I could never give never yeah. I understand that yeah and I circle back to that conversation when I had with you which we which in Tennessee I showed you the thing yes I circle back to this conversation that I know all the darkest secrets about that boy mm-hmm. the darkest mm-hmm. that that lady just found out the darkest of his secrets right. And they done went this way. Now they trying to go back together. And this person telling me that they're going to marry each other. He's <clears throat> going to marry her. And I'm like, well, I just, you know, I'm just, I hope you're not telling me. It's like I'm going to be over here in the corner. Because see, when, when the time come, when I, when, when I really want to lock down and fuck with me a nigga, mm-hmm. I ain't doing the shit you do. I'm not gonna be doing the shit you do. When I really get in there and I really lie down with me a motherfucking nigga, I'm not gonna be, I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna be doing that. Like, so don't think that I'm just gonna be over here in my in my set waiting on you to be, you know, saying whatever you're doing with with, with, with that girl or whatever. You get what I'm mm-hmm, saying? Mm-hmm. But but one thing I one thing I've told him, sweetie, once the flavor is in your mouth, honey, that's like once you've tasted that splendor, it does something to the brain. Splendor is artificial sugar. <laughs> Dear Lord. Once you done put that splendor in your mouth, bitch, it look like sugar and it got to taste something close, but it ain't sugar, mm-hmm. but it do something to the brain. Uh-huh. Am I right? Yes, indeed. There, and, 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 and my thing, what I told him to tell that girl, listen, because he told me, well, you know, I'm going to cut all that stuff out. I think I said, listen, baby, don't you don't got to tell me none of this stuff because I'm past you in, in years and in wisdom. That person that that girl gonna always in her brain gonna always think that you fucking one of the girls. One of the who? One of the girls. <laughs> and you might be out there in the streets. Yeah. Fucking one of the girls. So if that's something that you're not gonna share with her, you gotta get you a bitch that you're gonna be able to share that with because you're not gonna stop doing it. You gotta get you a bitch that's gonna that like the girls too. So Maddie then. What we were talking about earlier, when we were just put it, when we were saying we were just putting it on men. So does it don't women in a sense have a part to play in the in how men come out into the world? Or well, if a if a woman themselves? here's the thing, if a woman in that situation, then we're gonna go. We'll we'll pick up on this other stuff later. <laughs> uh huh. If a woman 
happens to get into that that conundrum of situation that got includes me, that boy, that girl, and and maybe with maybe a few other goddamn interactions, <laughs> right. right? Right. And she decides that that she's going to stay. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then he goes and he tells her that he's not going to do that anymore. You feel me? He may walk that, that that narrow, straight and narrow path. For a time. For a time. But delete me. Bitch, you delete me out your phone because you know, you know the type of fucking we do. We do some awesome fucking. You know what we do. Right. So you might well, just tell me, hey, it was nice. Cut that chapter off with me. Don't keep, don't try to keep that up because you know what we do. Yeah, but I'm saying like, perfect example, you but, know how met you like. But you I want to get back to her. Oh, okay. Now, well, she going with this knowledge, knowing that this is going on, and, you know, she can go in with the belief system that, you know, he's going to change, he ain't going to do this or whatever, you know. I told him if there's something that you not that you that you are that you are serious about that you want to be serious with this with, with all of this situation then, then do it. If not, don't drag this girl into this. Don't drag that girl in there. Get you a bitch that do the things. That do the things. Here's where I am with it though. With this whole dating thing. My next You've either, you're either in therapy, have been to therapy, or you're on your way. Don't even come talk to me unless one of those things have happened. You mean, on, you, wait, or if they're on their way? You're either in therapy, you've been to therapy, or you're on your way. You got your appointment. Because there's, there's a lot to unpack. You know? And I just think that when you look at the behavior, and again, I'm, I'm just thinking about the queer community. Like, a lot of times people will say, oh, Craig, you're sex shaming. Oh, Craig, you're... No. Because sometimes it can sound that way, Craig. I know it can, but I think it's my passion. But I think that... I don't... Sometimes it can sound that way. Okay. But I think... <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm just saying, I just think that... Okay, here's what I want to say. And then, like you said, we can, we can move on. When I left college, I came here, and I lived here for 13 years. And I came out here. And so most of my adult friends, I made here. And I have a good balance of straight friends and gay friends. But what I will tell you is, there was a point where I had to kind of catch myself. Because the values, the core values that I moved here with, that my family instilled in me, I kind of relaxed those values. I kind of relaxed them. And I became really okay with casual sex. But you're having casual sex now. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something you want to share with the core? <laughs> and so, <laughs> are you back in a monogamous situation? I am not. I'm very much so single. But so you're not, are you not having casual sex now? I am not. Craig's abstinent, Maddie. No, no, he's not. Because <laughs> we just had a gossip session the other day. <laughs> Let him come forth and do this Eddie Long thing on y'all if you want to. <laughs> what? Trying to be a preacher and then giving this other. <laughs> and those boys in the closet over there, girl. But no, 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 no. Excuse me, those men. <laughs> I do not have a consistent sexual partner. <laughs> but you have sexual partner. Well, my ex kind of circled back a couple times. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you want me to say? No, I don't want you to say that. I just want, to, I just want you to say that you are having sex casually. That was a while ago. Girl! <laughs> Girl! But back to what I was saying. Girl! <laughs> when, I got, when I started to acclimate within the gay community... Oh. I started to relax my values because sometimes, and I'm saying this to the young gay folk that might be out here, young queer folk that might be out here listening. I mean, it's for anybody, but specifically you guys and girls and them and they. <laughs> uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being respectful on my show with that shit. And so, thank you. I started to re re relax my values oh. and I became acclimated to 
having casual sex, like you go to the club and you might see somebody that you like. Oh, that's what you consider casual sex. Yeah, you might hook up, or I might, I, I may have been on online like before Jack and all that shit. You meet somebody online, and you know, so I kind of got relaxed. So that's what casual sex is. Yes. Now that was my now, listen. All that to say. <laughs> all that to say. I got to a point where I realized that some of the behavior that I was acting out wasn't my own. It was almost like I was starting to assimilate because I noticed like the friends and the people that I had in the community and what y'all not gonna do is try to act like, oh, well that was just your friends. Y'all know how it is. And so I felt like everybody was just kind of okay with casual sex, right? Not having, you know, just having really relaxed values and stuff around, around it didn't care if you were sleeping with somebody's friend or you know what i mean like all that kind of shit wait that's a part of casual sex too no craig because listen if you fucking thank up, you tiffany hr if you you let me get my voice out go ahead, go ahead go ahead go ahead i don't fuck on my friends niggas huh? i'm not and neither have i but what i'm saying is you know how in the in in the in the community really if, no, I, I don't fuck on my friends. Oh, nigga. I thought you said you did. Oh, I, no, I don't. Oh, I'll, let me tell you. We're the same boat. No, I no, don't fuck I don't on my either. friends, nigga. I don't get into that. I don't do that. That's but what up. I'm saying is, Courtney, this ain't no extreme example. Sit down. Don't. What Ooh. I'm saying to you is, what we're not going to do is try to act like it's not highly sexual in the community. And part of that is just because we, we, we are, when it comes to gay men, because I, listen, I did a show on my YouTube channel called Telling Our Stories. And I had a conversation with. Do we have that commercial? <laughs> Can Listen, we run dude. that? Wait, wait, not yet. Let me say this. <laughs> no, we need to run that while Craig gathers his drunk talk. Listen, no, and I, no, no. And I, I need to gather this. Craig. Don't run quick. that commercial. <laughs> I had a conversation with black lesbians and black gay men. And I said to them, are lesbians as promiscuous as gay men? And they said, oh, absolutely not. We don't, we don't, y'all be looking at apps and seeing somebody around the because corner. Because they're and that, women. And that's what I'm saying. So biologically speaking, we're wired differently. And I think in a heterosexual relationship, women oftentimes are the balance. If not, the men will be fucking day one. But oftentimes in heterosexual relationships, women are like, uh-uh, you got to take me to dinner a few times. You got to pay a few bills. You got to earn true. this. That is true. But That's in true. a man-on-man -man relationship, most, most times you down to go ahead and do it, right? Mm -hmm. So I started to relax my values. And so I realized, like, this isn't really who you are. Like, you have to start pulling back and rec separate what you see going on and, and just figure out what, what works for you. And I'm saying that I think that I'm not the only one. I'm saying that I believe that there are many other gay men, whether you black, white, whatever, who feel the same way I felt, but they participate in certain behaviors because it feels like everybody is doing it. So I may as well just go along to get along and just keep doing it and da 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 da. But what I'm saying is you don't have to follow along with everybody else. I haven't had sex in so long. Girl, you just took. Wait, is oral sex sex? It, it has sex in it. Can we run Craig's commercial, please? <laughs> please. Oh, my God. Here. Welcome to season two of Telling Our Stories. But this season is a little different. We're coming to you all the way from Paris, France. I decided to move to Paris briefly to learn the language. Now, while my plan was to immerse myself in French culture to learn the language, God had a bigger, brighter plan for this trip. This time around, I sit down with black, queer men and women across several sexual identities. Now make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss an episode. This is Telling Our Stories, the Paris edition. Welcome to season two of Telling Our Stories. But this season is a little different. Unloop that. Now I gave that bitch one commercial. Unloop that. I gave that part one commercial. Now unloop that. Hell no. My fault. My fault. I forgot to take the loop off. I forgot to take that shit over there looped up like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, if you've been watching the show, get your motherfucking um, perfume from me, honey, the everything perfume. Click on this. When take your phone and scroll across the screen so that you, it's, ooh. Girl, I got on my own stuff. It ain't going to do nothing but lift it up. <laughs> it's, it's, 
Especially between your legs. You it's it's going to lift it up, honey. It's going to give you right. You're going to get it up. Well, they do that anyway. Oh, I know they do that. Because you, know, you, you have a lot of casual sex. When I was having sex. No, <laughs> you have a lot of casual sex. I, you see, I, I've just sprayed on it. Mo, it smells good, don't it? It do. It do. It's, and listen, the lie. reviews are in. They're not lying. I've posted so many things. Like people have been tagging me, and and when it, when it came out, it's just like, Mo, why would you take it off my face? I thought I was going to ask you, no, do you want me to put it on, on your face? face? Yes, I do. Okay, here you go. Wash it first. But there you go. <laughs> nah. Scroll across there, order you some, use Maddie 20 at checkout. We are still running these because our bottles are getting ready to change. Our caps are getting ready to change. Maddie 20. That's Maddie, M A D D I E, Maddie 20. That is the code that you use. M A D D I E, Maddie 20. That's the code that you put in there, honey, when you do the things. Um, if you want to get any of our merchandise, please make sure you visit www.fagtwalk. That's T A W L K.com. Fagtwalk.com. And also, last but not least, let us put some money in your pocket. Move that fag talk out of the way. Oh, okay, I was trying to Girl, put that merch up there so we can see it. That merch is running through the commercial down there. We don't uh, thanks. <laughs> Oh, put run the merch through there, Myrtle. Okay, Just go ahead and run the merch. Okay. The creator came over here and took over the, the man in the one. <laughs> run the merch. I am. Oh. Run the merch. Oh God. M M Myrtle, run oh, the merch. <laughs> <laughs> the pictures. The pictures. <laughs> no, I was trying to put that up. First. Run the merch. I'm sorry. It's all the shit at the bottom of the screen. That we got <laughs> fag talk mugs, fag talk slippers, fag talk shirts, fag talk socks. Fag talk on your phone cases. We just got I owe, uh, Apple and Android. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know about the Android, but they, but Craig's saying <laughs> we got Apple. This is Fag Talk. So get your thing. Links to fag, the, the fagtalk.com. All right. Yep. Now, before we go, there is one other thing I want to talk about, but I was like, damn, is it Mo, you have to cut this show up. Okay. You're gonna have to cut this show up because we're going on three hours. You gotta Girl, cut you've been telling him this for three weeks. I ain't seen no clips yet. Don't do that. So you tell it, Maddie, you going to let him say I don't be cutting this? I made my own clips, and I've sent some to Madison. Really, Maddie? So yeah. what, what? That's what them straight people do, you girl. Uh -huh. Really, Maddie? You straights or something. <laughs> anyway. So I haven't been cutting up your clips, Maddie. I haven't been cutting up your shows and putting it on your YouTube. This is our thing. But you know, <laughs> somebody said the QR code is not working. Wait a minute, how the QR code ain't really? working? Hold on, let me try. It. Let me scan use across it. the screen to see. It I'm better be. I'm about to use my. That's phone. the same um, QR code. It's the though. same QR code. Girl, his phone must be turned off. Let me do it. Don't do that. <laughs> It works. It does. Oh no! What is this? Oh no! Girl, it says it's disabled. Oh yeah. My line suspended. <laughs> I'm excited about the website, Girl, take that damn take QR that code, code down. Code down. Yep. It, it said yeah. It's, it's the same thing for Girl, me. your line suspended. Uh uh. Let me call my assistant and get that QR code fixed. My line suspended. <laughs> <laughs> This is why people. I'm, I'm excited about the website, Greg. Uh, why? I'm excited about the website. Mm -hmm. Put the website down there. Trent, fix that damn QR code. Fix that QR code. This QR code ain't working. Okay, my he finna fix it, y'all. Bye, 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 Trent. He finna fix it. Don't worry about it. It'll be working. But when you when you go down there to check out. Still type in Maddie 20. Maddie 20. Mm -hmm. Now, listen. Oh my God, take this Fed Talk website down. Oh, okay. I thought you... <laughs> what were you about to say? You were about to say something. You said... I want to leave on talking about this because it kind of, but it's we, Mo, please cut this show up. Okay, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Really? <laughs> no. Really? Okay. That's what you wanted to talk about? No. Cut the show up. <laughs> Cut out the show, Mom. Okay, Thanks. baby. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to sign up for paid for your say. That's what you were going to say. Somebody put wide. <laughs> Why they put wide out? 
I want to talk about this. You got my blood running through you and your daddy's blood. How you gonna have somebody else's child out here? So I'm supposed to be with somebody that I don't love so you could be happy. I'm not gonna be with you. Do you damn right. You damn well, right. How does that work? It works just fine for me, okay? So she wants to put me out of her house. Yes, it. you won't get the stepping if you don't get your man come up in here so, and create me a baby. So then what am I supposed to do, Mom? You room it out, out of the house because we want babies? Yes, yes, I do. And then what am I supposed yes, to do? For you me? do what you want to do when you out my house, but long as you in my house, you won't have a decent relationship. But the thing this is, come from the old school, baby. The old school. What I'm talking about is a man and a woman procreate and they have babies. Not a woman and a woman, okay? Y'all can't have babies together, don't you understand? But she is a better partner than I've ever had in my entire life. Not but I'm supposed to be with name. somebody that I don't want. But not by my She has name. treated me the best that I've ever had in my whole life, Mom. But you want me to go and settle and be with somebody that I don't love. Yeah, That's well, why you prefer now we was just talking about lesbians mm -hmm. so i wanted to close out since we were in the lesbian situation mm -hmm. craig i'd like to hear your thoughts on this but i'll play it again to the for those people that <clears throat> how you gonna have somebody else's child out here so i'm supposed to be with somebody that i don't love so you could be happy uh, you damn right you damn well, right. How does that work? It works just fine for me, okay? So she wants to put me out of her house. Yes, it. you won't get the stepping if you don't get your man come up in here so, and create me a baby. So then what am I supposed to do, Mom? You room it out, out of the house because we want babies? Yes, yes, I do. And then what am I supposed yes, to do for You me? do what you want to do when you out my house, but long as you in my house, you will have a decent relationship. But the thing this is, come Mom, from the old school, baby. The old school. What I'm talking about is a man and a woman procreate and they have babies. Not a woman and a woman, okay? Y'all can't have babies together, don't you understand? But she is a better partner than I've ever had in my entire life. Not but I'm supposed to be with name. somebody that I don't want. But not by my book She has treated me the best that I've ever had in my whole life, Mom. But you want me to go and settle and be with somebody that I don't love. Yeah, That's what you prefer. Guess what? You got to grow to love people, okay? You got to get okay. to know the person. Okay. All right? You ain't even getting no man no chance. All right. How you supposed to love a man? You ain't even let a man in your life. You just saw this woman. This woman supposed to give you everything. No, ma'am. Not in this house. Not under my roof. No, ma'am. Try again. So can I ask you a question? No, I ask me. I'm going to tell you. Are you happy? I'm wonderfully happy. Me and your daddy been married for 23 years. It's, it's been good all 23 years? All 23. We have our ups and downs, and you know that. Okay. But you here. You here. Ain't you? Yes, you are. So I need you to do this. I need you to find you a decent husband, and I need you to bring him up in my house. Know, Mom, so I'm not having I can have some children, some I'm not grandchildren. Well, you, you, you like, got so my blood children. running through. All right, y'all finna be shot by what I'm getting ready to say. <clears throat> That's that woman's house. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> leave her house. Just leave her house. That's her house. And as it's not easy to just say that I'm going to get up and say, just get out of the house, just get out. But that's her, that's her house. Yeah. And, and you know, <clears throat> I, I'm very clear that who you are is who you are. And you can't shift and change for your parents or family, you know, the black church, the black family, or the black community, society in general. But what I'm really clear about, too, is I think sometimes we, and I'm not saying in this instance, let me clarify, because some people just be trying to misinterpret what I'm saying. Um, I do think that we have to extend grace to our parents, because I was 22, 22 years old when I first um, came out when I started talking to my family and friends about it. And my mother was not very receptive. Now today, she's my biggest, biggest fan. Same with my mother. You know what I mean? But just like it took me 22 years to get comfortable in my skin to start acting on the feelings, sometimes we have to give our family grace and give them time to come around because sometimes our parents have dreams for us and they have this idea of how, how our life will play out. And I'm not making an excuse. Hear what I'm saying. What I'm saying is sometimes we have to separate from our parents if they're in that kind of space. Sometimes we have to step back and give them the time 
to catch up. Because again, it took me 22 years to get comfortable in my own skin. I couldn't expect my mother to be okay in two days or two weeks. Right. And so I didn't force it on my mother. I, 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 I spoon fed her. Like when I came out, I wasn't talking to her. Like if, if we talked on the phone and she said, well, what did you do this weekend? I wouldn't say, oh, I went on a date with my man. Uh, no, I went to the movies. Right. I went out to eat. I spoon fed her. Yeah, you have to. And you know, and then eventually she started saying, um, "Oh, well, are you seeing anybody?" She started asking. You know what I mean? You have to give people time, and I think sometimes we're so. But again, it goes back to the politics. I think we get so politically correct, right? You know, and we expect people to just be on the same page at all times. I actually think that I actually think that if you when you give people space, they become more receptive. See? See, that's the shit I'm talking about right here. Brian, now you just sat here and heard everything I fucking just said. And you just said, so we have to enable our parents to be closed-minded? No. What are you listening to? Like, where, where, is your, where are your critical thinking skills? Did you not hear anything I said? It's like, that's the kind of nonsense that I'm talking about. See, some of you are so quick to try to... To justify. Right, that you, you're not about, even listening. Yeah, it's people just talk to, to hear themselves talk. Right, you just typing. No, because I, I, I will say that I think when you give people, like you gave your mom space to have her come to you and start, I think that's what sometimes that's what you need to do, especially when it comes to your parent, is give them that space to let them actually, you know, think about how they're, how they're affecting their, 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 their children. Mm -hmm. Because even though it's not the same scenario, but my dad being African, you know, there's a lot of things that I did or I believe that he was so against. So when I was living with him, we were always butting heads. We were always butting heads. Now that I, we live 45 minutes away from each other and we see each other sparingly, we've become closer. We understand each other a lot more. And I think it's because he's actually, when you, because when you still live under your parents' household, they're still looking at you as, you're my child. You're my responsibility. You should do whatever. I mean, I you say. have people going to college, we'll be, majoring. We'll be, the the um, I was just taking care of the QR code. We'll, it'll be oh, okay. give us moments before the show ends. We'll be able to. You'll be able to scan your QR you, code. You have you have parents. I mean, you have people going to college, studying, in a specific field because their parents want them to study in that field. I know that. You have folk that want to go to college for the arts. But or go to a dance school or whatever kind of school, and their parents said, "I'm not paying for that either. You're gonna go over here and study this, or I'm not paying." But this is I'm not I, saying that you do that. Yes, well, you, but you you still have to walk in your individuality. You just got to, you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, and sometimes, what people don't understand is just just as bad as it's hurting your parents, it is hurting you too, mm -hmm. because when you, I said it on my show. You have to walk out sometimes alone to find yourself. Right, right, right. And hearing the voices of everybody else telling you what you are, what you should be, and this is here. This, this, this takes us right back, Craig, to when we start talking about rights. Yeah. How, how gay? How people think that we all of a sudden because we gay or, or whatever, mm -hmm. we got these magic rights or whatever. Fuck. We are we're conditioned to have to be. To have to walk a heterosexual life. Mm -hmm. We are. This is mandatory for us to do this. Like when we come out of the vagina, this is the script that you must follow right here. In the same way that black and other brown people or people of color have to walk in that white light. They're parallels. I don't care how you look at it. And it's like we've been taught white history, but they don't know shit about ours. Right. Well, shit, we damn no don't know shit about it. Correct. Because everything that we don't been taught has been a whole fucking lie. Because they've redacted it from the history books. But here we go again with this, you know, bringing it back around with an example. When we we in this room, Craig and I follow up under the Labiquita Committee. Mm -hmm. We came from straight parents. Our parents had had this whole thing set out for us to do and mm -hmm. it was in a straight world yeah you people out there that have children are conditioning your kids to live in a straight world to walk in line that is a straight you don't know what those kids identities are you don't know what they're how they're wired you yeah, don't yeah. know you want all of us to be wired the same it's like it's like 
a monolith. Yes. And that's not how it works. That's a cult. It is. That's cult behavior. And then... I also think parents want to live their lives through their children. They do want to live their lives through their... Through vicariously. Vicariously sure. through the yes. kids. But I, I want to stay on what I'm saying about this shit right now so that people can understand about how when they talk about agendas and when you truly look at what uh, the agenda... Right. The agenda is... Right. Come out the coochie. Go to high school. Go to graduate, high school. Go, go, to, college, go to college. Get a wife. Get a children. wife. Have children. Repeat the same cycle That's right. over and over. Pass this down. That is the default. That's right. Heterosexuality is the default. Yes, and right. so everything outside of that. Now, when when we're getting, when we have the ability to laugh, live, and learn. Now this, now you're afraid, and like I gotta protect my kids uh -huh. from this, and I gotta keep my kids away, or I can't. No, this is not right. None of this is right. Right. Oh no. We have to eradicate this because this is the. This is the right way. And for those very same reasons, watch this. This is why when someone speaks up and proud to be black, that it sounds or comes off as, oh, he's racist. Am I not supposed to be proud? So if I speak up about it, if I speak too loudly about it, then suddenly I'm racist. Or because I use proper grammar, I'm bougie. Or I'm trying to change your kid into being something because I want to live my life out of public. Or it's my fault that now because I've transitioned into, you know, a, a trans woman that you know you're getting clocked because we kind of look the same. Is mm -hmm. it now? Now it's my fault that I because I'm live, walking in who I am. I don't think people really actually sit down. I got to talk to you about something, Craig, because I, I almost blurted something out. <laughs> okay. That I'm developing. Okay. But I, I, I don't think that people really walk in other people's shoes. I think they talk from, from their standpoint or they talk from, from, from their, the life that they live. Their or, experiences. Their experiences or what they were taught or, you know, we're, we're, we're from straight families, honey. We're from straight people. Mm-hmm. We are products of heterosexual people. So we've had to, for, uh, for, for the first part, the first trimester <laughs> of our life, had to walk in heterosexuality. That's right. To know that that ain't what we want to do. And to be clear that it felt incongruent trying to be that. Here they go. But, what does God say? <laughs> right. But see, did, but, wait, did you hear what God, have you ever heard? When you're hearing from God, Let's talk about it. Now, mm -hmm. I want to talk about this. We got two minutes. We're going to... well, when you're hearing from God, what does God sound like to you? Because I know what God sounds like to me. Mm. My whole life has been guided by, by, by God. My foot, my, or my steps have been ordered. God talks to us and meets us exactly where we are. The, even the book, if we're going to go according to the book, the book says, come as you are. Yes, Lord. As you are. That means flawed. That means fucked up. That means big backed. That means skinny. That means titties at the top if you put them on and dick at the bottom. That means stud. That means butch. That means femme. That means flamey. Come as you are. Because all this will melt away when the day of reckoning comes, honey, and we shall be nothing but a spirit. And we ain't going to have no nuts, no balls, no titties, no dick, nothing. We will be a spirit. So when you're being spoken to, when I hear God, God talks to me just like he talked to, the, to a heterosexual person. He speaks to me. He tells me when I'm right and when I'm motherfucking wrong. And he taps me on my shoulder saying, I bet you know I'm going to fuck you up. For that. And that's exactly how he talked to me. Mm -hmm. For y'all for that don't believe it, that's exactly how he speaks to me. That's how I know. Because if somebody, I'm going to tell you a thing and then we're going to go. We got too quick. It's too many hours. Okay. But bitch, this is the type of show we give. Right. right? Monique called me one day. I think I told y'all this story. Monique called me, my friend, called me one day. And she say, bitch, you know, God told me to, to call you to tell you something. Wait, who said? Monique. No, no, she said, what? Who she called? said, bitch, God told, God. God told me to tell you something. Mm -hmm. And I said, 
What did he say? She said, he said, bitch. I said, hold on. <laughs> I stopped her right before that she even finished telling me what he told her to tell me because I'm not going to tell y'all what she told me. He told her to tell me. Right. She said, he, said, he said, bitch. <laughs> I had never told nobody. I had never told nobody that when God talks to me directly, mm -hmm. I, he leaves in with me with bitch. Bitch, didn't I tell you a bitch? What you that's how and so when I when she came forth and said that you he was like, bitch, I say, I know God talking to you because that's the way he I must have was had to close my ears up mm -hmm. and they want to hear this word you finna tell me. Cause God gonna talk directly to you. And the only reason why that you don't hear him is because you motherfucker ain't trying to hear. And so if he have to come through, he, she, or it will have to come through to somebody else, he, you'll know. Them. He, she, them, or they have to come through and speak to you in some type of way. He gonna speak to you in the way that you been that that you done heard him before, and I've heard him before. Say, bitch, this and bitch that to me, to me, yeah, to me, to me. And so when I heard her say to me that God said, bitch, I said, yep, that's from God. That God told you to tell me this, <laughs> cause that's exactly how he would have said it to my motherfucking ass. Just like that. That's how I know. So when a motherfucker be in the street telling me, oh yeah, God told me to, what, what he said, bitch, you that's you you want to tell me that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause when the three want to speak to me, he call you bitch. Bitch. <laughs> when the three want to talk to me, the three talk to me the specifically the way I I I understand it. Because I ain't going to hear it nowhere else. Just like a lot of y'all don't like the way I deliver my messages and stuff like that. A lot of y'all feel like, well, maybe she should be more like Laverne. She should be more like Angelica. She should be more like, ho. Oh, I'm T.S. Madison. So people that hear my voice may not hear it the same way they hear from Laverne. People can hear from Laverne and may not comprehend it the same way they'll comprehend it from me. Mm -hmm. So everybody has their own... There's room for everybody. Their, their own comprehension level of how the message is supposed to be received. Yeah. But usually the message is the same. But it's how you uh, hear it to interpret it, to receive it. Mm -hmm. So when I hear, I, I remember walking on the motherfucking street. Mm. And I and got, bitch, if you go around that mother, I promise you. And I went around that motherfucking corner and I got in that motherfucking car and pulled that bitch up to that goddamn bush and that nigga crawled through that grass and pulled out that sawed off shotgun and put it in my motherfucking face. Mm. And the spirit that. had told me it's <laughs> loud as clear, bitch, <laughs> don't go around that fucking corner mm -hmm. and get in the car with that fucking man. Mm -hmm. And you took your ass. And I was anyway. like, child, because I was like, in my brain, God, that ain't no, and this, and, and you ain't talking to me like that. Because isn't that the one with the other? And one? that was the last night I walked the streets. Mm -hmm. That was the last night I walked the side. That was my last night on the mm -hmm. sidewalk because ever. Because that was the one with the other, the other. Uh, yes, one. that was the last yeah. night I ever walked the streets. But because I heard it incessantly say to me, mm -hmm. bitch. Don't you carry your motherfucking ass around, around that, that corner, corner and gather da 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 da. And I walked my ass right around that corner and, and did got, exactly and what got he said in that corner and boom. What a night I had. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Why Girl, did get he him out of here? Oh, child, that's somebody wants some attention. Get three dots. Yes. No, no, no. Oh. You deleted, bitch. You got a. I was a block. trying to. Sorry. Oh, that was. I didn't do you that. You blocked, bitch. Nobody done go through that, honey. Okay. Listen, nobody going through that. Just like God told me to tell you to suck my motherfucking dick, puss ass hoe, and get the fuck off my page because somebody is getting a, a word and a message because God is talking to somebody right now, calling them a puss ass hoe. Stop playing with me. I shot a bow. Oh, I'm going to knock your ass off that goddamn, out, out that bullshit you doing, bitch. And you don't think that's God talking to you, but it is. <laughs> mm. Anyway, my thing to the girl, sis, give your mama time, but get out her house. Yep. All right. I ain't telling you not to do your thing, but give your mama time. And if time don't never come, you got to come to a, a place in your in yourself. You, it it's, you got to always, you got to always, you can't walk 
and live somebody your life or someone else. You can't right. do that. You'll forever be a misery. Why they done? She done fucked and sucked her husband, and That's you done right. came here. And That's did right. you hear her say that her and her husband done had they ups and downs? Uh -huh. So that nigga done fucked and sucked on her too. You already know what that man. So you don't. So you you can't. Nah. You can't do that. You can't fucking suck on your motherfucking. Uh, 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 on your time, and then and then and then be worried about it if they are right with it. You got to do your thing respectfully. We still respect your mama. Go get out her shit if they don't. If they ain't gonna want to want your people's your boyfriend, your girlfriend to be around them. Don't do that. Don't try to force that shit right. on them. You get what I'm saying? But but just remember. Now I'm finna say something that's finna fuck y'all up for real. Just remember when they get old and they got to come live in your house when you and your wife together. Let your wife bring them something to eat. <laughs> Let your wife take t tuck them in. Because there's a lot of them crockers out there that hated niggas that's in the old folks' home right now. And that's all they see. Hey, y'all, my shut up! Now, see, if I had said crockers, I don't, I don't even say that. <laughs> I don't even say that. <laughs> nah, but you know what kind of crockers I mean. But, wait, but they don't never know what I'm talking about, though. Nah. <laughs> they don't ever seem to know what the fuck nah. I'm talking about, though. And I don't even say crockers. No, nah, Craig, you talking. No. I'm not talking about white people. I'm talking about them crockers. Well, those are the white folks that I be talking about no, when I'm talking. No, no, no. <laughs> they are. They the, they the kind of white folks I be talking oh, about. Oh, you talking about them crockers? I don't say that. But oh. yeah, them crockers. I'm talking about them crockers. <laughs> the one that spit on us and niggas us and did all the type of fuck shit they did. Them crockers. I, just find, it, I just find it interesting how they can decipher the kind of white people you talking about, but they don't never know which ones I'm because talking the, about. Because the message I give, they understand that. See, mm -hmm. that's why, see, they understand the tonality in my voice. No, it ain't the, no you know what it is? Not they they want to lock up the truth. They don't, want, they don't want me to talk about the truth. But I said the same thing, but bitch, it's just the way you say it. It's in the tonality of. Bro, Maddie don't come off like she don't like white no, people. No, I don't. <laughs> well, girl, I'm gonna Craig, fuck you with do. You. I'm gonna fuck, <laughs> fuck with it. Come off like. <laughs> if they stop doing some of that fuck shit. I wouldn't have to sit here and say it. Now I got I got to talk my black white shit when I come over here because we got nine thousand people over here watching. I don't have nine thousand people watching when I'm over there talking on my YouTube channel. Well, this is what happens when you get what fag talk. That's right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fag, put a one in the comments down there. If you're a real fag, we want all our real fags. With a, listen, you and if you're adjacent, put a two. No, wait, no, no, no we don't no, know no. adjacent. adjacent. It's either you're a fag or, or you're, you're not. not. If you're a fag, put your one down there in the comment now. <laughs> Put your one down there. If you a popular hot ass gossiper and you love fag talk, please put one down there in the chat. And ladies and gentlemen, before you go, Mo, run that motherfucking a QR code across the screen. Girl, let's make sure it works. The QR is gonna work. Are you have the chat? No, go. You can check. Run across the screen, Mo. Put it under. Let the QR code work. Cause baby, what? <laughs> baby, what? Let me. Say. Girl, no, she's not. She's, she's not, not working. working. Clear your cookies out, bitch. Girl now, girl, now, girl, now, in this instance, you might need to get you some whites or some Asians to come work. No, bitch, my black folks work just for me just fine. Well, girl, that QR code ain't working. Oh, and then he said, then your assistant then sent you the voicemail. <laughs> Wait, it, it said it's going to be active in a second. Hold on. I'm reading it. Oh, so we got to sit here until it's active? No, we don't. But by the time they run that motherfucking QR code, my line won't be suspended. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Bitch, we'll see y'all the next time. But keep checking out the QR code because bitch, by the time it, by the time this shit over or come back up, it'll be working, honey. Listen, <laughs> we love you like a fat bitch love cake, and we'll see you soon. Oh, and remember when you see the tickets go on sale for the Maddie in the Morning Live show, honey. April 24th. April 24th at City Winery here in ATL. That'll be our first night of our residency. We want you to come on out, get your tickets, have a good time. We love you like a fat bitch love cake. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Hey, everybody. This is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Shh. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one, 
exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there, me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton and you'll be glad you did. I promise. This has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. Uh -huh.